My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. All right, that was a much smoother go live than we've had thus far. I think that one worked. It did not crash today. It did not crash. It appears as though everything's actually going smooth, which is crazy for the start of this live stream. Looks like we've still, we've already got 82 folks piled up in here. Hopefully you're having a good Monday. It's been a pretty good Monday for me. And calls all day at work, but still, I like, I like the calls on Monday. It sets up the rest of the nice week. How, how was it for you? Good day so far? Yes, pretty good. Are you looking forward to having some whiskey though? Sure. Sure? All right. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. What's up, Kyle? Just a tiny bit. Jack's in the chat. Dustin Portman hanging out. Just found me this week. Brand new, fresh off the boat. Welcome, Dustin. Welcome, welcome. And thanks welcome. for hanging out with us on this Monday evening. Um, we are going to do a few things. We're going to do some stuff a little different, okay? First of all, I've been trying, like, Shred, for those that are in Discord, that, that handles our editing and, and runs a lot of the channel, keeps telling me, Folks want to see their super chat on the screen. Yes. And I was like, it's kind of hard for me to manage. At some point, we're going to have somebody manage this for us. But I've been trying for like four weeks to get this graphic to work. We're going to make it more advanced, but for right now, it's just a graphic. And it works. I, I hope. We think. I think. I think we're not sure. the graphic works. So I think <laughs> as super chats come in, they will show up over there, and then we'll have a leaderboard of who's had the most super chats. So we'll be able to see. I, I don't know. Gonna find out. I've got some graphics across the bottom so that folks, as they join throughout the stream, they'll know what we're doing, what's going on, what we're up to. So hopefully it works. We'll, we'll find out. I don't know. I, I thought for like three weeks I had all the bugs worked out, and I indeed did not. So what we're gonna do first, if you're seeing that across the bottom, is we are going to try Johnny Drum. Now Jill's never had Johnny Drum. Johnny Drum is 101 proof, and it's made by Willet. So, like, Willet makes the purple tops that you like so yes. much, that everybody likes so much. And this has... And, and, like, the weeded one we just tried? The weeded one we just tried. And this one is a $35 bottle you can get in most places. So, okay. y'all in the chat, if you've had Johnny Drum, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts on it are. It's come highly recommended from a lot of folks. Everybody's like, try Johnny Drum, try Johnny Drum. Here in, in Alabama, it's kind of it's kind of pricey when I do find it because I don't think the liquor stores typically stock it. Like the, the ABC, look, did it show up? Hadn't show up. Come on. It, it takes about 30 seconds. We got a super chat in. Our lights didn't flicker. Nothing worked. Oh, there goes There's the, the light. So the, once delayed. the light, well, yeah, we're, we got a little delay. Boom, right there. Look Steven there. Penny with the let's try it out. Five. It rounded it up, but I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> now, you should show up under top supporters here in a second. That might take a little longer. Look at there. Let's pour some of this Johnny drum. At least something worked. At least something worked. I'm going to pour my water. You going to pour some water first? Yeah, I decided I wanted it over ice tonight, not just out of the bottle. Jax, what's the alcohol budget monthly? Shh, you can't ask those things with somebody's wife in the room. Um, it's getting higher he, now that the videos are doing a little better. He ain't got no budget. I, there's no, it, I try to, there is a budget, but it's not like an actual hard and fast rule. I just try not to no. spend too much. No. Depends, exactly, Terrence. Depends on what you find. You try if, to not spend I, too much. Yeah, too much is the subjective <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Now. What's too much? Why is my freaking leaderboard not showing up? Well, because there's nobody else. He's yeah, automatically no, but he, the leader. He should show up, no, 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 he's at the top, but he also should be the first one at the top so let's see i'm looking at this i'm gonna look at my leaderboard and he is not there it's supposed to update every 10 seconds dad gum it it was working i swear it was working earlier it was working i promise you i promise you it was working that's always a something jug of water. always something that's the problem right there i just found the freaking problem he found the problem i found the problem I'm going to fix the problem real quick because we're going to have this. This is going to happen tonight. We got two more Super Chats from Brendan Son, 23, with the 499 Super Chat, and William Lambert with the 499 Super Chat. Now they're all tied. Now they're showing up. <laughs> they're showing up though. They are all tied. All I don't tied. know. I, I have not built in any logic to handle that, but I got it fixed. Got it fixed. There we go. Appreciate the super chats for testing it out. Drinking Dickel 17. Oof. Mm. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. 
But we're going to try this um, Johnny Drum, give you our thoughts on this, what I think is a pretty good $35 bottle of liquor. It comes highly suggested. And then we're going to play a little game, and I'm going to let y'all choose. So y'all let me know. And we'll probably, we'll, we'll just look at whoever Super Chat, Super Chat a penny, I don't, whatever the minimum is, I don't care. But would you rather me take these two Bowmans? This is um, Bowman Brothers Small Batch, which is like 90 proof. This is John J. Bowman, which I think is 100 proof. Yeah, 100 proof, made by Buffalo Trace, but then shipped off to Virginia to be redistilled and aged there. And we'll let Jill pick one any blo any bottle by Buffalo Trace, and we'll have a three bottle blind. These two versus any Buffalo Trace product. It could be E.H. Taylor, be Blanton's, be anything. Blanton's Gold, Rocco Farms. I don't care. Or or she can just pick one random bottle, and I'll have to try to guess what it is. Mm. Yeah. Henry O'Brien with the ten dollar super chat. Appreciate it, Henry. Let's see. Let's see. And now and now I got my my stress level up. Let's see if it's gonna come. Lights in. are blinking. Oh, see, he moved to the top of the list. And it, it only the main main super chat only changes every thirty seconds. That way, if there's two or three in a row, uh, it'll cycle through everybody. So it'll take it about thirty seconds. Are we trying this? We're trying this. What do you think? What is this? I forgot. Oh, it smells good. Oh. John J. Bowman is aged eight to ten years. Wow. Johnny Drum. Okay, so the John J. is older and higher proof. Nice. See, Henry's just showed up over there. Stevens got it working. Dad gummit, this is gonna be fun. Now we have we're gonna have some format issues, but I'll work that out. Pendleton twelve year rye. I've not tried that yet. Next week, next week on this, when we're we're gonna do the rye whiskeys or the Irish whiskeys here in just a little bit. Um, and next week we'll do rye's. So this week is gonna be I'm gonna bring out ten Irish whiskeys here in just a little while. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the leaderboard right here, each person on the top of that leaderboard when we get to it gets to pick one Irish whiskey for us to try, and then we'll pick one out of the 10. Love to find a John Jay. I found this Bowman Brothers in, uh, it was in Columbus yesterday, this weekend at the bottle shop. I've had this one for a while. Not sure where I got it from. I haven't had the Lucky 7, 14, or 15. What do you think, Jill? Mm, it's not my favorite. It's not your favorite. What do you not like about it? It smells good. It smells okay. like a mix of vanilla and peanut butter. <laughs> but then it kind of just does a weird thing on the end. It gets like there, there's some sort of... Um, mm, the taste it leaves in my mouth is not, not pleasant. Hmm. Now, me. I had... We did have some garlicky hot wings right before this. So that could <laughs> probably not help in our taste buds any. Yeah. That's probably bad form. But... I had a little sample of this this weekend after I bought it, and it was a lot better then than it is today. So I don't know if it's what we've been eating. It's got a great viscosity to it. Like, it's got a fantastic mouthfeel. It just coats the mouth. I've got a little bit of that kind of... It seemed a little weak on the first sip. Like, you know, okay. like not... Yeah, just not, not a ton of flavors going on. Yeah. It is a little simpler than I anticipated, and I get a lot Simple. of, like, yeah. like Willet has kind of this herbal, minty tea vibe to me, even on, like, their purple tops and stuff. And this has a little of that, but it is pretty subdued. Are you serious, Josh, or are you just trying to get me to Google something? Somebody confirm that. No way. Isla says hello too there, Will. Uh, I said I said Isla says hello. Oh, hello, Isla. Red, Gigi loves you. Red Breast 12, is, it's on the list. So I, we'll go over them in a minute. We'll go over them. Let's get through all of this, and then we'll go over them here shortly. Uh, so like I said, we've got two, um, we've got 10 different Irish whiskeys, and y'all will pick five of them here in just a second. And the... Well, let's, we'll go over them so y'all can be thinking about it. Let's go over them. Y'all can be thinking about it. And then I got one other little thing I want to talk about before we get into some John Bowmans and stuff. I don't like that. You don't like it. Not your thing. Not my thing. And Jill gives it a thumbs down. If yeah. you had to give it a bruisal score, what would it be? I don't know. Flavors out of 100. Oh. Zero out of 100. 50 meaning it's just average. Like it's okay. Not great. Average. What would you give it? I'd be generous in giving it a 50. Oh, so you think it's like below average? Yeah, I don't like it at all. 
Ooh. And I don't know if it's because I had hot wings earlier. That may be it. I don't know. Jill's getting hard. Very hard to please. Very hard to please. All right, move it out of the way. Just yeah, get that sucker out of the way. Let's go through these Irish whiskeys. After we go through these, we're going to play a little game, and then we're going to try these Irish whiskeys. So Irish whiskey number one, and in no particular order. Number one. Green Spots. Don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about Green Spot. Was it easy to find Blanton's? I think these Bowman brothers are not terribly hard to find. I think this uh, John Jay is a little tougher. But, like, we'll blind it if y'all want to. Number two Irish whiskey, Silky the Legendary Silky. <laughs> silky the Legendary Silky. Well, it's, it's just the Legendary Silky. Oh, it's the legendary. legendary Silky Irish whiskey. <laughs> and then Writer's Tears Copper Pots. Tommy with the $20 Super Chat, cheapest good bourbon. So the, the absolute lowest you can pay for a good bourbon, I, like Evan Williams bottled and bond at $17. Like anything lower than $17. I don't know what an ancient, ancient age would cost no, if it were a $750, because I only buy them in the big, the big bottles. But it might be around there. It might be $15, 16 bucks. That's the first one where I'm talking like in a Glencairn, neat, pretty good, probably. Is is that Evan Williams bottling bond? Y'all let me know in the chat. Is there something good? It, it, like when I say good, I mean in a Glencairn, neat, good bourbon for under seventeen dollars. All right. So the next one is Writer's Tears Double Oaked. We're not trying all of these. Are no, we? we're gonna try five. We're just gonna have a little sample of five. Okay. And the next one. Proper 12, which I've tried before, but I've tried a few of these. And next, Red Breast Single Pot Steel PX Sherry Cask Finish. Mm, that's your favorites in the sherry cask. And the next one is one I, I have tried, Yellow Spot 12. Let's get these guys out of the way. And then next, Red Breast... 15, which I did try. Bushmills, 12. And another Silky, silky. the legendary Dark Silky. Mm. Um, I think that's, oh, and then we've got just a little bit of Jameson. A little bit of Jameson, little, little bit of Jameson right there. <laughs> All right, so these are your options. Remember these options. We're going to play a little game. We're going to talk about something, for I got something very important to talk to y'all about. Then we're going to play a little game. And then we're going to come back and pick five of these. And who's going to pick them? The leaderboard right there. Right now, Tommy gets one. Henry gets one. Steven gets one. And Brenda Son? Brendason? <laughs> Brendan. Brendason. I don't. Brenda Son. Sounds good. It's like it's like the Karate Kid. <clears throat> Brenda Son. Vote for proper 12. You like Bruzel too much to vote for proper 12. So think about these. Let's get these out of the way. Y'all remember them. Men mental picture. You just leave them there, Kane. I mean, they're just kind of in, like, if we're going to do the game, we can't see. Oh, okay. Like, they won't be able to see us, right? And I got something important to talk about. Well, we got we to gotta get intimate over here. We got we to gotta talk about something important. I got to move it. I'll move these out of the way. Like okay, this. slide those over there. All right, so... Here's the thing. What are we talking about? I found something today I want. Oh, my goodness. I don't know this is what you were talking about. You think you, you should have known? I should have known. You should have known. You don't support it? I, I, I'm not sure yet. I have not made a decision. Mm. 13K with the 1999 Super Chat on the Red Breast PX. That's a good one. That's, that's my phase right now. <laughs> but what I found... Is see, here's the thing: is I'm getting a lot of good opportunities right now to go places to travel. Some of them have unsure sleeping situations. <laughs> like I'm gonna sleep in a boat at the Kentucky Derby. I don't know anything about this boat. It seems like a nice boat, but I don't. I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to Talladega this weekend. We got invited with um, with uh, Clyde Mays to do some stuff at Talladega this weekend. I have no idea what I'm just gonna sleep in the back of the truck at that point. So I want to buy a van. Okay, and I looked at some big, I looked at a brand new van, travel van, nice van, nine passengers, beautiful. It's like $90,000, and I am not that guy. 
not that guy, pal. Okay, not good. so we looked at used vans, and they're like fifty thousand dollars. Still not that guy. Still not not you can't can't pull the trigger on it. So I got down more around like eight, nine, ten thousand dollars, and I Did found a van. Super we got the Red Breast PX, but Aaron Wilson just joined the Three Proof. We membership. didn't get Mississippi Sippers. We got we missed. Oh, I saw That's that. That's Bobby. One. He. Okay, 13. I just saw yeah. the Red Breast PX. I thought it was the same one. Nope. Bobby's voting for Red Breast PX as well. Awesome. Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate it. I thought it was the same super chat. Um, thanks for catching that. So, I found this. Just let him do it, Jill. Seth, come on. I found I found this. Okay? Y'all y'all see that right now, right? Y'all see that. Like, original teal, velour interior in perfect condition. 90,000 original miles. Paint in excellent condition, brand new tires, fully serviced, brought completely up to spec, mm -hmm. like everything ready to hit the freaking road. I just having a hard time. Like I shouldn't, I shouldn't have asked any questions about it, but a dude sent me some videos of it, told me about all the stuff he's done to it. Yes, it does have curtains. It does have curtains. It has very nice curtains. Okay, <laughs> yes. very, very nice curtains. Very, very stylish. Very, the like auto power bed yes. in the back. Like it's got the bench seat, lets into a queen size bed, full size spare on the back. Five point seven. It's a twenty five hundred, so it'll tow just about anything. Five point seven liter, three fifty. Anything we could ever need, it could tow it. <sighs> I could park her next to Maggie. You could park it's her like next to Maggie's big brother. Yeah. I got a name, but you don't name a vehicle you ain't bought yet, because that's just recipe exactly. for heartache. But but I will give Jill credit. It took a little persuasion. Okay? Took some Jedi mind tricks. <laughs> but she agreed to go look at it tomorrow. Uh, yes, I did agree. She agreed to go, to go look, look at, at it tomorrow. So because that is a cosign on the bad idea. I don't like not like it. You know, I was resistant with Maggie at first, and now I love Maggie, and Maggie's a part of our family, and she can't go anywhere. But I don't, I just don't know if we need another family member. It's a B team, it's the B team van. I, I, I understand. I just don't know if we need any more family members. William says don't do it, they're a nightmare to deal with, working oh, on them is a real pain. see. Why are you trying to kill my vibe here, William? Like, what mm -hmm. are we, I thought we were friends. You gotta give me more info on that, though. I need to know, like, what's yeah. What's, tell what's them on. the truth. I mean, here. I get they're like they're like cab over, so getting to we the engine's a little hard. We don't hard, have but... time to work on anything. Yeah. And so we've okay. we've talked about vans multiple times, and I was all on board with it at first, but we've talked about vans and and said no to vans. I've been responsible about fifty times. <laughs> so <I don't laughs> stop getting know. baskets. If we stop quit buying getting... baskets, quit going to the beach, we'd have van money. That's not true. Baskets and and mugs and beaches trips don't they don't cost as much as a van. I'd name it the Big Tatanka. I don't like that name. Big Tatanka. No. Come on. I don't like that name. Like how many people in the chat even know what I'm talking about? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Let me know in the chat. Do you understand what Big Tatanka is? I mean, I would just do like the B team van or whatever. Instead. I mean, that's probably what it would be. Yeah. But it's got a, it's got like the humpback. It looks like a buffalo. Yep. Vernon. It looks like a buffalo. Vernon said buffalo. Yes. Jameson said bison. Yes. 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 It, he's got a William's got a bumper camper. Just say it seems destined to be. <laughs> Big Bertha. I'd probably yeah, the B team van's probably what should be referred to. Once you hit eighty thousand miles, it cost a lot to repair. We don't need to be repairing anything. That's, well, we won't repair it. I'll just keep driving it. <laughs> Until we break down on the side of the road? Yeah, why not? Because I don't like breaking down on the side of the road. Me either, but, it's you know. It's not my idea of a good time. Well, we're going to look at it. We'll see. We'll see if I can pull the trigger. I don't know. I don't know if I can pull the trigger on it. We're going to go look <laughs> at it, though. I really would. See, I don't want to sleep in my truck this weekend. That's one of the really driving forces here, is I don't want to sleep in my truck this weekend. I told you, just get a hotel. It's not fun, Jill. It's not fun. It is fun. You have fun all day. You do all that stuff, and then you go to a hotel. Okay. Do you know how hard it night. is to get a hotel the week of a race in Lincoln, Alabama? The yes. one hotel they have there? I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I understand that it would probably be... Probably be very difficult. Greg, man, probably but. it's a '94. Probably got the cassette player. Probably not old enough for an eight-track. <laughs> you 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, 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 a brand new engine in that's like 1500 bucks, Like, full crate engine. Mm -mm. Uh, so far, we've just tried Johnny Drum, and Jill did not like the Johnny Drum. I thought it was decent, um, I, but it, it's not hitting me great. I, I thought it was really good this weekend, and then all of a sudden today... Grab that Willet over there. This is what Jill found just freaking incredible. Oh, this is... I popped this open this weekend. This yeah, is the purple top really Willet Weeded that I got while we were in Mississippi, and that is solid stuff. Yeah, that's All good. right, so y'all let me know. Do y'all want to do Bowman Brothers versus any other Buffalo Trace? Or do you want Jill to pick a bottle, a bottle randomly and have me try to guess what it is? Y'all let me know in the chat right now, and that is the game we are about to play. A tent is better? You're probably right. You probably it's cheaper, that's for sure. I could do a tent. That's See, we have a tent. Uh, we do have a we tent. We have a tent. Dang it, I forgot about the tent. We went camping. Random, we random, random. Oh, everyone. Bowman Brothers, Blanton's. Random, random, random. Ooh, it's it looks random. It looks Jill picks it. That's the random. But if you get okay. it right, you get the van. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the deal right there. If I no, don't, if no, I don't, nope, nope. I still get the van. <laughs> More of a glamper, exactly. Ooh, see, we got some Bowman coming in here hard. Oh, that eight year weed is pretty dang yeah, good, so though. Good. All right, so we're going to go with Jill. What's the super chat goal? I don't know. We got a total there. You can see a total now on the screen. So, I, oof. if we hit five hundred dollars, we buy the van. No. 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 That's dang. I wouldn't pay for the van. No. I'd have to sell like a thousand T-shirts to pay for the van. <laughs> no. Oh, a lot of Bowman coming in late. I think there were more randoms though. I think there were more randoms. We don't have a goal. What's the goal? Mm, that is so good. Here you go. Hand me those two bottles. There's three bottles over there. These? Yes. I bought these for you, Will. This is a blackberry liqueur. Just those two, yeah. This is a peanut butter whiskey. That's it. Is you it? don't bring that one. These are peanut butter and blackberry, and you mix them together, and it's a peanut butter and jelly shot. Oh. So me and Jill do peanut butter and jelly shots at $200. Do I have to do a shot or a sip? It's not much alcohol in it. Because I don't really do shots. Well, then, sh then sip it really slow. <laughs> okay. I can sip it really slow. You got to drink it. You just sip it. You ain't got to, like, throw it back. This is RM Rose Co., which the guy at the liquor store really sold me on these. He said these were fantastic for flavored whiskeys. He said their cinnamon whiskey we got over here is much, much better than Fireball. So Ooh, we may try should, that here in a little you bit. You should blind that. You want me to blind that versus Fireball? Yeah. Okay, hit the super chat goal. We'll take a shot of these and blind that versus fireball. I'll blind that versus fireball. We'll try these. All right, Jill. We went with random. Looked like random got the most votes to random. me. Sorry if it didn't. Um, so, I mean, Tommy right now is king of king of the supporters at this point. So, Tommy Thyroid, you agree? Random was right. Like you agree? You're you're, you're the highest super chatter. So, you're gonna go with if you agree, then I'm gonna say random. I think that's what it was. Of course, then he jumps in here and ties up, but colonoscopy. <laughs> really enjoy your videos and streams. I appreciate it, and thanks you and your lady for joining. Random tandem. Random, random. All right, seems like random was right. Maybe maybe Tommy, it may be a bit of a delay. We're going to go ahead and go with that. I'm going to bolt out of here for just a second. You pick a random bottle, fresh Glen Cairn. Um, y'all help her. Like, y'all y'all post and, and help her pick a bottle. Just throw anything out. I know you don't know everything we got in here. I can. I don't know everything we have in here. I can do this to help we'll a do little it bit. We'll work. We'll work together. Here, here. I'm gonna at least do this so you can see as much as possible, and you might be able to zoom in and see some things, right? Okay. So y'all pick something random. Pick a bourbon. Don't like right now. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do the Irish here. After we do this game, we'll then pick the Irish. All right. All right. Let's see. Any suggestions? Ooh, I don't know. I haven't done that in a long time. Any suggestions? One bottle. I'm trying to stump you, right? Yeah. Okay. We're trying to stump him. Like something he would not know what it is. Yeah, Andrew, I was thinking that same one. Yep. 
All right. Let me see. <laughs> now, I don't have a ladder, but I have a chair. Um, oh, the, yep. That's what, actually, when I turned around to look, that was the first one, Seth, that I thought, oh, I hadn't done that one in a long time. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to go with. All right, let me see if I can reach it. I do have a ladder somewhere. But oh well, we'll just do the chair. All right, y'all don't laugh if I fall off this chair. Okie dokie. Here's to hoping we can stump him. All right, this is what we're going to do. Yes, please don't fall. <laughs> All right, here we go. Healthy pour. And put it back so he doesn't know. Maybe it doesn't look like it's moved. <laughs> All right, y'all start. Spam in the chat so he doesn't see any of our suggestions. <laughs> All right, I can still see a few of them, but I think we're good. Oh, just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, Thomas, you can come. We're ready for you. We're going to stump you on this one. Oh, my goodness. You, <laughs> you always come out of there with a hat. I got my Kentucky Derby hat in the other day. Uh-huh. He's going and doing all these cool things and leaving me behind. Oh, you got other things to do. You're too busy for me. Where to put this hat? Well, I didn't know the derby was a thing until it was too late. Mm. Taylor Swift, more important. She is. I got to go see my girl, Taylor. All right. We're going to stump you on this one. Hmm. What's been moved? <laughs> you think I'm that? Um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but no. Made sure I put it back. Exactly where it was. You poured a lot of it. Well, you, you tell me. me thick to, pour. You tell me to. So I didn't know. Hmm. Mm. This right here is so good. Like this is really good. Has anybody else had this one? The Willet uh, Weeded? Is this Weeded Purple Top? That is the, that is the Weeded Purple Top, yes. Oh, that's so good. Or just Willet Weeded, I think, at this point. Okay. But it does have a purple top. All right, so this has... A little bit of a finish, like a rapid aging to it. So I'm thinking small distillery. There's so many of those we've grabbed lately. So many of those. <laughs> okay, so it's not any of the Knob Creeks. It's not going to be any of the Jim. You do have the Basil Hayden Toast. It's been a while since I've had that. Um, hmm. Penelope <laughs> Architect is French oak staved. Could be that. Could be the Penelope Architect. Could be. Um, no, not I'm not going mind. to Talladega either. He only has one spot there, and not sure I would. <laughs> I would be okay sleeping in a car for days again, anyway. So I will be home on that one. 
I know he keeps looking back at the shelf. That's not fair. It's there's a thousand bottles back here. It's <laughs> as fair as it's gonna get. I'm just trying to figure out. See, you gave me too many clues. First of all, you gave me too many clues. You I yelled, I need a ladder if we're going to do this. But I could be lying. You could be. And if you were, that would have been smart. And but I you weren't. Smart. But you weren't lying. How do you know? I've been married 25 years, babe. I know when you're lying before you start lying. So it's top shelf. Okay, if you think so. Sean with the 1999 Super Chat. New subscriber, big fan of Berman hunting videos, sipping on some whistle, whistle pig. pig. Nice, man. That's a good one. Appreciate you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the support. Okay, so you got Peerless Double Oaked. It's been a, oh, I see, I barely even tasted that one. <laughs> so I don't even know what that one tastes like. And this has a little bit of that. Is it double oaked? Is it staved finish? Could be that. Could be that. What's the proof on that? Do you know? No. <laughs> Are you trying to stop me here? We do have the Mizanara finish. Uh, could The Mizanara finish. Again, it's been a long time since I've tried that. <laughs> this is tough. Even just the top shelf. Just limiting it to the top shelf, just looking around. What happened to the chat bar? Oh, we, we went to wide, uh, so you were picking. So let's quick picking. let's cut to that. Yeah, let's go back to that. There we go. Um, now. All right, so right now you've got the Basil Hayden stuff. I haven't drank a lot of the Subtle Smoke, but this this has too much proof. It is not that, and it doesn't have that kind of Jim Beam nuttiness. It could be Penelope Architect. Could be, but I just don't think that's French Oak. I don't think that's French Oak. So then you go down, what else is finished there? <laughs> that old soul, that old soul might have a little bit of that flavor, but I just don't think that's it. Um, so now we're down to the Mizanara or the Peerless Double. It's been a long time since I've drank that St. Cloud, but I don't remember it tasting like this. What else? This one's on tough on you. This one's tough. Am I close yeah. though? Am I warm? This one's tough. I ain't telling you you warm. <laughs> Someone said, here's my controversial opinion for the chat room. I drink wine more than bourbon. That's okay. Hey, that's great. I love wine. Grab a, grab I a bottle. I probably drink wine out. more Should there bourbon. be a time limit? Yes, there should be. Oh, there should be a but time limit. But rules were not set forth. <laughs> rules were not set there forth, no okay? Rules. So... I don't love this. I will admit that. I don't love it. You don't love it? I don't love it. Which is always stressful. It's always stressful <laughs> when you just say that and you have no idea what it is behind you. Right, because it could be something you actually no. really do love. I found another bottle of Weller Special Reserve for $25 this weekend over in Columbus. Really? Yep. Richard with the $25 super chat. T Swift is very important. Yes, it's going to be a great is. show. Just dropped $88 on barrel seagrass. I just got a barrel seagrass. I need to try. Like they sent me one. I haven't even opened it yet. Mm -hmm. That's great. The barrel just sends them to me occasionally. That's awesome. And yes, T Swift is very important. It'll be our youngest daughter's first concert, and she is super excited. So I got to miss the derby for that. I remember the Peerless Double Oaked being more harsh than this. Mm. But it's like I only had one sip and it's been five or six months ago. Do you have a favorite NASCAR? Team? No, I didn't. Like, no. I haven't watched NASCAR in like the last NASCAR race I watched start, start to finish, Dale Earnhardt hit a wall and died. That's oh how long my it's been. Oh, goodness. You've watched something. Not man. not start to finish. Oh, really? I might caught a little something, you know, every once in a while I catch a little clip of one or something, but I My just, brother in law, Marty, he's a huge NASCAR. Well, that's fan. why I started watching. Yeah. Uh, Is he still though? Me. Not really. Yeah. He doesn't watch it as much as he used to. I'm in Alabama. There's not really an NFL team either. We just do college sports around here. <laughs> this is good. this is taking you a long time. This one's We should have like a clock on there. Tick, 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 tick. Well, it's got like an off note that I don't like. 
And so... Russell, we are in Opelika. So, not far from Columbus. I'm going to say it's the Peerless Double Loop. You're going to say it's the Peerless... Yeah, I don't think I'm right. But double Oak. It just doesn't taste... Like, I don't like it. 13K with the dollar ninety nine and Kit... <laughs> Kit Cluck with the four ninety nine just went to the Jack Dickel and Pritchard's Distillery. Ooh. <laughs> Half drunk at the moment. Love your channel. <laughs> Love from Huntsville, man. Appreciate it. Thanks Huntsville. for joining. Whiskey in a humidifier, man. Don't do it. It's not It's not cool. It's not recommended. All right. So you think it's Peerless Double Oak. I Final don't, answer? I don't, I, don't, I don't believe it's Peerless Double Oak. Well, then you, but why I don't are you have guessing an that, man? I don't have a better, like, okay, so it... Like, it's between the Architect, the Peerless, and I just, it could be the Mizanara, though, but, like, what else up there has got that kind of not great oaky finish to it? <laughs> What's got that not great oaky finish? It could be some of the ones behind, like, I've almost never tried. All right, I'm being generous here. You already had a guess. I already had a guess. Well, I mean, guess? I guess. I guess. I'm wrong. I guess. I go for it. Peerless double up. Nope. I didn't figure. Is it the architect? It's Pinell the architect. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we stumped him. I was close though. I was close. So what happens now? I lose. You lose. That's, that's what happens. <laughs> <Okay>. I lost. <laughs> Every time I say Columbus, Columbus yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat there, Four right, Leaf. I'll, yes. I'll be more specific next time. Columbus, Georgia. Yeah, I don't love the architect though. I, I don't know if I've had that. It's just, I, I should have known that's French oak staves, but it just, I thought the French oakness was a little stronger on it last time I tried it. Yes, Seth, that means TJ doesn't get the van. It means I don't get the van. Dad gummit. I should have, I almost guessed the architect too. I was, I was pretty strong in that, but I was like, ah, just, I don't think that's it. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. It's what okay. build number? It is build number... Well, it doesn't say. I think it's on the back. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. But it's, it's not It's not my jam. I don't know. It's got a build number on it. I did a good job putting it back in place, didn't I? You did great. But I did make a mistake. I won't do that again. Saying I had to get a ladder. I won't be, I won't be talking this about that. This is build no number more. one. I wasn't even thinking about that, that that would give you a hint to where it was, <laughs> to what I picked. That helped. That Oh, God. Yeah, you that would narrowed have, it down. With, with the French oaks, if you would have guessed, like, if I hadn't had any context, half of the bottom shelf would have been at play, and I would have been in real trouble. Fray oh, Ranch. Fray Ranch. I think I heard it was supposed to be Fry Ranch, but, like, you, if you're pronouncing F-R-E-Y Fry, I'm just not on board with that. Is it Fry? Really? Somebody told me that, but I don't know if I believe them, you know? People well, tell me things all the time. I don't think so. I saw that live stream with the Bourbon Judge and those. They were calling it Frey the whole time? I'm pretty sure they were calling it Frey Ranch. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Bream Reaper with the $5 Super Chat bought two bottles of Blanton's today at MSRP. Congratulations. A tiny local shop after hunting for so long. Man, pop it open. Give it a try. We we probably, well, we did the random. Next time, we'll probably do the Bowman versus uh, Blanton's or something like that. We'll let y'all pick. I don't. I don't even care. I was like two, Will, so we're at 176. We went to 100. So you, we must have got a lot of super chats guessing the bottle. Mm -mm. We went to 176 quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be doing some PB&J shots here in a little bit. But first, we're going to try five Irish whiskeys. What time is it? Ooh, we were trying to stretch it till 9 o'clock. We were trying to stretch it till 9. So, um... Let's do the, I'm going to do the Fireball blind. That doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it. So I'll, okay. I'll blind that versus Fireball while we're waiting on uh, 9 o'clock to do the Irish whiskeys. So this is R.M. Rose & Co. Fire on the Mountain. Fire on the Mountain. Run, boy, run. Run, boy, run. Devil in the house in the rising sun. Whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. <laughs> it's caramel colored. It's in... 
Dillard, Georgia. I'm going to make your life easy, Jim. I'm going to make your life easy. You're going to make it easy? I didn't bring the keg. Oh, thank you. I did you. not bring the fireball keg. Somebody, thank you. I forget who sent me that as a joke with the bottle. We also got this Cinerator here, which is better than Fireball. So we're going to blind those. I'm going to blind those three. All three. And we're going to see which one's best. So give me three Glen Cairns and then holler at you. Let me put my hat back. Holler at you. Holler at you, boy, when it's done. A, B, and C. I can't believe we had them all clean. A, B, and C. That's because I washed them. Oh, well, look at you being all domesticated and stuff. All right, guys, we are going to start with this one. We're going to put it in A. Oh, my goodness. That smells delicious. Like really, really delicious. I need a pen so I can... I'll just write it on the phone. Oh, I forgot my phone has a pen now. Forgot about that. All right, so A is All right, so we got A. Now let's do this one. Yeah, he can hear me. I can't hear you. I, like, I, didn't close the, I normally at least close the door. But I didn't even close the door on this one. Woo! I didn't even know that important. Oh, wow. Okie dokie. So this one's going in B. I'm trying to make sure I pour about the same. So we got this one in B. Okie dokie. There we go. All right. B is... All right. And now, this and C. All right, that makes noise. <laughs> oh my goodness. Two of these smell exactly the same. Two of these smell exactly the same. All right, Thomas. I was about to say, I didn't even need to burn 20 minutes. I just had to have you pour three bottles. <laughs> well, well, hey. Hey, that's how it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so we got ABC. I'm slow. Y'all remember, ooh, there's a color difference. These two are light. That one definitely has a little darker color to it. Ooh. Oh, that smells like pine needles. Smells like cinnamon and pine. That one smells the most like a cinnamon candy. No, Albert. We still have the keg of Fireball. Oh, we still have the keg. Yeah, I just was trying to make it we easy on her. trying to make it yeah. easy on me. Hey, can you find the Discord? Should be links dropped every so often. I just see Streamlabs drop it. There should be a link in the description as well for Discord. All right, so I'm, just, I'm not necessarily trying to guess these. I'm just trying to rank them. Yeah. Um, but if I can guess them, I will guess them. You do that. Okay. You got a plan. Yeah. If I, that one's kind of new. Oh, that one, I don't know if I've ever smelled that before. So I'm thinking that might be the RM Rose. I don't, it just smells like pine needles, but I don't remember what that incinerator smelled like. <laughs> and that one smells the most of what I remember Fireball smelling like. So I'm guessing C's Fireball off the nose. That just tastes like one of those good cinnamon candies you used to get from your grandma, right? <laughs> 
One those she probably got from the dollar store or from CVS or something. This one's new. It's interesting though. I don't think it's as good in a Glen Cairn. It's a little more oily and viscous. The flavors are interesting, but it's it's got some off flavors to it too. So it might be better in a mixed drink. I don't know because of some of those kind of odd pine notes. But A is definitely better than B for me in a Glen Cairn, which you probably like. I guess you never drink this kind of crap neat in a Glen. <laughs> Usually mix it. But with you might be that. shooting it in a in a shot glass. So that's that's drinking neat too. All right. So now A or C. That's what I remember Fireball tasting like, but it's been a while since I've just had straight Fireball. Very cinnamon. That's just all it is, just kind of cinnamon note. But I feel like that one has, A has much stronger cinnamon flavors. <laughs> what is it? There's, there's some, some sort no. of trick. That could be the Fireball. Like, I don't remember. Could be the Fireball. Flavor's a little more well-rounded and soft. Good for cinnamon. Much more intense and kind of middle of the palate. It's tough to choose which one's better, better. though. Better. Mm. Right? Like, th those are both better than that. So this is not better. I, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's the RM Rose. Like, I just don't recall. And this is not bad. It's just not... just has some kind of pine notes to it. Probably destroyed my palate before we go drink some Irish whiskey, which we're going to do as soon as I rank these two. Ooh. I don't care what time it is. Knob Creek Smoked Maple. I've never heard of that one. I haven't, you haven't come across that yet. That sounds delicious. It sounds like a liqueur. Are they just that close? They taste very different. Oh, they're different. That one is super strong and intense. So if you're putting it in a drink, it might overpower it, right? It's it, This definitely has a much stronger cinnamon flavor to it. Like everything's just like, just attacking your taste buds. And that one's just softer and sweeter and more subtle. So if you want a ton of cinnamon, go with A, but I'm probably going to pick C, which I think is the fireball. I think A is the Cinerator, and I think B is the RM Rose. You would be correct, sir. You got all those right. Yeah. That Cinerator is, like, serious. It's, it's good. It's very, very intense cinnamon flavor. So if you're, like, just all about the cinnamon, you'd probably really like that bottle. For the whippersnappers out there that are drinking this kind of <laughs> the crap. The whippersnappers. Wish your bride would hand you shots all night. Well, trainer, man, you think it started out like this? This took 25 years. You don't want okay? the rest of this? No, I do not want the rest of that. No, I didn't want that, period. Punks, that's right, <laughs> Nate. Punks. I was just trying to string it out a little bit. Let's pick some Irish whiskeys. In about two minutes, I'm going to just take the top of this chart right here. And the four people that show up on the top of that are going to pick four of the Irish whiskeys. So let's go ahead and get these Irish whiskeys laid out here, Jill, before we pick who's picking. Before we pick who's picking. Yeah, get that cinnamon crap out of here. You weren't a fan of the cinnamon. <sighs> Just, mm, Not something I would drink by myself. Now, I did in my 20s, maybe in my 30s. In my 30s. I didn't really drink in my 20s. In my 30s, I'm, we yeah, definitely we went through, through, through a little fireball, fireball phase then, there. Yeah. We, what, we didn't do a ton of it, nah. but we definitely drank some Fireball. Okay, so here's five, and then you should have five over there. I have more than five. Oh, I thought we had ten. That's three. You have six. So there's eleven. Oh, I forgot about the Jameson when I was counting. Yeah. All right. All right. 
So Can we're going to need. all those? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Should be able to see them. Y'all think about it. And then we're going to start asking here in just a minute, the folks at the top of this list, what four they pick. Go ahead and grab me five Glen Cairns, Jill. You just want to share with me? Yeah, I'm just, okay. a, I'm sipping. I'm a, just a sipping. I absolutely. Four Leaf doesn't like Sherry finished, and like Sherry finish is the only thing I found I like. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we just, we just, hey, I tell you what, I'll get, I'll take all the Sherry fish. Oh, Sherry, I can't even talk. Sherry finished. Sherry finished whiskeys. That's what I was trying to say. I was trying to talk too fast. And then you could take all the non-sherry finished ones. All right, so right now, the top of the list here is Richard Anderson. Richard says green spot. So grab that green spot over there, Jill. Slide it out of the way. The next one is 13K. 13K, you still here? Pick one of these. Pick one of these. And then Tommy, Tommy Thyroid and Colonoscopy. Y'all pick one as well. Jill, is there one in particular you would like to try? Well, I'm going to wait till they finish picking. Okay. Because they may pick one for me. Vandy 13, Man picks me by, by the van. 13K picked Red Breast PX. Okay. Yeah, that's my that's that's my jam right there. I don't think Jill's tried that yet. She maybe has. And then who else needed to pick? Tommy Thyroid Colonoscopy, if they're still here. We're going to give them a couple of minutes. And then if they're not here, we'll just kind of move on and pick our own. Um, move down the board. Yeah, well, I can't see. I can't. I can pull it up over here. Yeah. I can pull it up over here. Um, so we're going to give them just a minute here. After that, it is Bobby from Mississippi Sippers. Bobby, you want to throw one in here? If you're still hanging around. And then Sean. I don't know if Sean dropped one in here. Sean Hankins. Is it? I think it's Hankins, yeah. Whiskey Outlaw just got back from Ireland and visited all the major distilleries. Sean says Red Breast 15 right there. So he wants to go with the Red Breast 15. That's three of them. Looks like some folks may have already checked on out of here. So let's move on to Henry O'Brien. Throw one in the chat. Next on the list. All right, so we need two more. Like, I, I'm not going to pick. I want to try one of those writer's tears. Okay. Which one do you want to? Do y'all think we should try the double oaked? Or the Copper Pot Writer's Tears. Let me know. I've never, I haven't opened either of those. And then maybe one of these, the Bushmills 12, Jason Gardner says. All right, so I'll take the Bushmills. Which Writer's Tears? The Double Oak, Copper Pot, Double Oak, Double Oak. Co Gee, it's like split oak. down the yeah. middle at this point. Copper, Copper, Copper. Uh, copper's no, winning. Copper's All right, winning. Copper's called, it's called Copper Pot. Give me the Copper Pot. Let's get copper, the rest copper, of these copper, guys copper. out of the way. And our goal here is to find two Irish whiskeys that both you and I like. And I do not think it's possible. I think we're both going to like the red. I'm going to like the red breast PX. I don't think, I don't think I'll find a second one. Okay. Because I don't think any of these are sherry finished and those are the copper pots killing it right now. Yeah. Move the rest of these out of the way. All these? Yeah. Get everything that we did not choose out of the way. And then I'll see if I can figure out a way to open this bottle. Goodness. All right, so let's try this. We're going to try Writer's Tears Copper Pot first. Now, this is Irish whiskey. This is Irish whiskey. Yes, ma'am. It sure is. Are you making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you at all. I love your accent when it gets thick like that, you know? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did not. Bite it open. Just, 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 just chip a tooth. It's not bad. <laughs> You're an Irish whiskey guy. It's not. See, I'm starting to. I'm starting. To, if the maltiness is soft and it's got some like fruitiness to go with it, I'm starting to get like I don't know if I'll ever get to scotch. But that's. I'm starting. I don't know. Like it's not like bourbon where I'm like, oh my god, I love that. Hmm. But it's starting to be like, okay, I can deal with that. Austin Bush with the four ninety nine super chat. Thank you, Austin, with the hype oh, no. sticker. Mark Glass with the $20. Peanut he pumped us up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's going to put us over. It's going to update here in just a second. We're going to be peanut butter jelly time. Oh, no. Peanut butter jelly time. I need a peanut butter jelly time song. I should have I broke it out here. 
Should have broke it out. But that definitely, $196 says we're for we're for short steel. What do you think of this one, Jill? That one's pleasant. If you had it at a bar, would you order a second pour? Maybe. I would not. I would not. I would. I wouldn't dislike. I would drink the whole pour I bought. Yeah. But I would not buy a second one at this point. And it's just because I'm still a little iffy on the Irish whiskey maltiness. Like if if I were over that maltiness, I think this would be exceptional. It's just going to take me a little while longer to get on that maltiness train. Yeah. So this Bushmills Twelves opens. So we apparently tried it at some point. Austin pushed us on over. Thank you, Austin. I appreciate the super chat. <laughs> oh, the okay. Two super chats. Austin did two. That smells pretty good. Still a little bit of maltiness there. Oh, James, James got to go ahead and push us over too. Nah, nah. That's not my jam. <laughs> Jason, oh. everybody pushing us over one time. Peanut butter. Nah. I think the peanut butter jelly thing is going to be pretty good. This does not smell. All right, so I would take the Rider's Tears over the Bush Meal. Like, it's just, this has got some interesting things going on. I'll give it that. There were some things there I'm like, okay, I like it. But there's some things there where I'm just like, I'm not ready for this. I think if you're into Irish whiskey, you'd probably like those things. I wasn't ready for them. I wasn't ready for them. Couldn't handle them. What do you think? Would you drink a pour if somebody poured you a whole one? I don't drink a, pour, a whole pour of anything, so probably not. You'd drink a whole pour of a Willet Purple Top if I poured you one. Well, yeah. If I gave you a William LaRue yeah. or a Coy Hill, yeah. even though it's like 197 yeah. nuclear proof, you'd There'd drink it all. There'd be a few that I would drink a whole pour so of. So I'm just saying, if you went to a restaurant and you this ordered that. I, like, I actually like this one better than the other one. Okay. Ooh, now we're getting crazy. Jill's getting crazy. Yeah, I like that one better. Ah, the malting is just super strong on that one to me. You want more of it? No. Next one. All right. Now we are to the Red Breast 15. I have not tried Middleton very rare. LTS with the $5 super chat. You got to go to Denver for some Colorado. I agree. Oh, I, yeah. We got to do this for sure. We Laws do. and 291 can hang with any bourbon rye on earth. And Stranahan's and Leopold's aren't bad either. We, we're going to do, that's why I'm trying to buy a van, man. I'm trying to go to more states and do more things. And Jill's like, we don't want to travel. That's not what I said. I just told you I'm not sleeping in a van I didn't down really, by the river. We don't river. have to sleep in it. It's just comfortable for riding. I know. This one smells the best. Out of all these we've had thus far, out of those three, this one smells the best. And this is the Red Breast 15. Is it the one you've had? Mm -mm. I mean, I think I had it. That's pretty good. Is that's it the best. Sherry? It's, no, no, I don't think so. This one's just single pot still, stone fruit mingles with cracked pepper. Giving away to burly and toasted wood. The maltiness on that's very subtle. Like that is that is the best one out of the three so far, to me. Yeah. You agree? Yes. Okay. Like we're all, we're Red Breast fans apparently. Who knew? I so didn't even freaking know. That and that definitely. I even almost get like a little bit of a bourbon. Yeah, I can see where you get that. It's just kind of little little of that sweetness to it. Yeah. That's probably why I absolutely love this one because then you finish it in sherry and it just kind of tastes like a bourbon almost. Uh -huh. So by this man, is the, the Red man, Breast man. Irish Whiskey PX. Sherry Hog's Head. So they soak it in pig's head. They don't. It's Hog's Head Sherry. What does that mean? Please I don't, don't know. tell me that. <laughs> it's like this one, but then they just added caramel flavoring to it. We're, right now, we are just... We, we will rank them later. We'll rank them in a second. Right now, it's just... I just randomly started tasting them. But they are getting better to me. Other than this, I'd, I'd flip these two, but we're in we're in order from worst to first at this point. Is that the best one? You don't like that caramel note? Yeah, I do. You, you seem to be know pondering. It's, much, it's not much different than this one to me. Much 
I get a on lot more end, caramel. Yeah. I get a lot more caramel on that one. I get caramel like on the end, like just it's leaving me with caramel. Yes. I didn't get it at first, but now it's leaving me with the caramel. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. On its way out, it leaves yeah. you a little gift. A little nice little caramel gift. All right, so I have not tried green spot. We tried the yellow spot. I think somebody had asked about it on one of the streams, so we popped it open. And now we are trying green spot. And by the way, most of these, except for that red breast, all came from Spillway. And that event we did in Mississippi, that video should be coming out this week, probably Friday. Um, I'm excited about that one. It's probably our biggest video yet. Um, so I'm going to be excited to see how that video turns out. Green, green Spot. What is Green Spot? Single pot still Irish whiskey, triple distilled Irish whiskey. Hmm. Doesn't say it's finished or anything like that. It's just Green Spot. All right, so I don't like the smell as much as the red breast just because I don't get all those kind of fruity, sweet aromas that I, I'm looking for in a bourbon, right? Obviously, these are not bourbons, but... It gives me some of those, though. Like, the, the maltiness is very subdued. It's like a green apple. Like, somebody mentioned that earlier, and I definitely get, like, a nice green apple on that. That's that's tough right there. Because, like, where do I... Green apple's not a flavor I'm looking for, but it's nice. Like, that's surprising. That green apple note is just surprising on that one. I feel like I'm, I'm like the largest whiskey, Irish whiskey influencer in the world now. Like, we're going to have to start an Irish whiskey channel. What do you think? They'd kill me. I'd have Irish people sending me, like... Car bombs and stuff. That's interesting. You've tasted the green apple? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'd say, well, they ta they called it Green Spot. I don't know if that's coincidence or not. Is that why? Dennis, yeah. the bourbon dad with a four ninety nine super chat. Buy the van so you can bourbon hunt with me. I mean, I bourbon hunt in the Lincoln. Like, where are you at? We go bourbon hunting wherever. Hmm. Or do I have to have a van? Do I have to have a van to be in the club? Like, how does that work? Let me know. I do need to buy the van, though. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we need to rank these. Mm. That green apple. I don't know where to put that. Like, that might be better than this. Is there any left? I don't want to pour another one, but... Vandy Man says, get the damn van. He spells damn like Jean-Claude Van Damme, though. <laughs> So it's Van Dam. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Get the Jean Claude Van Dam. Damn Van. Jean Claude Damn Van. What's your order? Um. I'm. St I'm on the struggle bus right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am on the struggle bus. Because, like, this is my phase phase. This is the only the only Irish whiskey I've had that I would say I actually like. And now we might have three or four I kind of like. I would say this is my favorite. So you like that one over all of them? Yes. <sighs> and then I'd say close between these two. That one's good. Close I'll be between honest, that these one's two. good. And then that one and that one. So which one did I like best? Oh, I like the 15 better. The 15 is my favorite. That is good. Here's the problem. Is I don't really want to be the guy that likes Irish whiskey. I kind of like being the guy that doesn't like them. Like what you want to like. I know, I know. It's kind of fun, though, to, like, I, if I start like, see, the problem is, is this is like step one to liking scotch, <laughs> right? And then, like, then Nate will be like, see, I told you, and I, I don't need that. I don't need that negativity in my life. I don't need Nate being like, welcome to the dark side. <laughs> to the dark Red Breast 27? <laughs> Lord, Sean, I feel like I need this at this point. As good as that 15 is. Yeah, the 15 is really good. Like, I like that one a lot. So, for me... The Bushmills was good, but it had some weirdness going on to it. There's a little bit of an odd flavor there. 
there's just some oddness to that and a lot of maltiness in that. So that's going to be the worst one for me. This is second to the last. This is second to the last. And it's it's fine. Like, that's fine. I could drink that. I don't love it. It's fine. But, like, honestly, I kind of dig these three here. Yeah. They were I kind of dig these all three. All three of these are good. And so this one is... It's good. That's It's hard to rank these. Like, these... I'm, I'm good with these two, and I'm good saying these three are better. But it's really hard for me to put these in an order at this point. Because I want this... I'm craving the sweetness of a bourbon. I'm craving all of those, like, caramel, um, fruity flavors. And so if I were grading this as a bourbon, I would put this one third. Now, there'd be a big old... Like, I'd put these on this side somewhere, and I'd move these over here. Right? Like, there's a gap. There's a gap, but like if I'm if I'm looking for those bourbon flavors, then I'm gonna put these ahead of it because it's got some of those. This has a lot of those caramel notes I'm accustomed to on a whiskey that I really like, and this one's got that just weird green apple. And like, do I like caramel or green apple better? I think the green apple is the most unusual mm, note to yeah. me. Like it's just something I don't see a lot in a whiskey like that. So I probably put that ahead of the red breast px and that is freaking surprising look at you I, I feel like i'm growing i feel like i'm developing i'm learning i just think this one's the best because it 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 gave me a bourbon like like it just reminded me of a bourbon uh, apparently green spot and red breast are from the same distillery uh, <laughs> <laughs> no wonder we like them they're all the what's same what's up robert moore yeah so those are the those are the best three out of those um, but y'all let me know which one of these would y'all rank as the best ones. Let me know. Let me know. How would y'all come to the dark side? Welcome to the dark side. We do owe peanut butter and jelly shots here in just a little bit though. We oh still got my. like, it's only like nine o'clock. Like we are way, way early. We're way ahead of schedule. We were supposed to, we were supposed we were supposed to, like, stretch this out over a whole lot of time. Well, I thought I did. I thought I was, It's like only 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's only 9 o'clock. We've been going a little too hard, apparently. Okay, so we're looking at blue spot and gold spot. Well, I have a yellow spot, but it's not gold. So there's a difference between... Y'all let me know. There's a difference between yellow spot and gold spot, right? RB5 or RB15. So they would they would have put it like you, like this. Ah, look at yeah. that. And they, they, you're probably right. Like that one is probably more sophisticated, but I'm just a, I can't say those things on the internet. I'm, I'm just a young whiskey drinker looking for the fruity flavors. <laughs> Red Breast PX, that's hard to argue with. That's um, Bowman versus Blanton's. I, see, the problem is, is we drank a lot already. I might. I tell you what. I've not. I, I have. I will agree. Um, I'll do the Bowman versus Blanton's, but at the end of this, right before the peanut butter and jelly shot. So we're gonna stretch. We gotta stretch it out a little bit. Okay. Jill won't let me go hard anymore if she's on the stream, which is good. Weeder blind. What weeders would we put in a weeder blind? I think folks wants to see. They want to see the Bowman versus Blanton's though. That's been yeah said a lot. Yeah. There's a blue spot. There's a... Gold spot is eight year. Celebrity scotch. The only one I've got is proper 12 as far as I know. I've got watermark. Appreciate it, Tech 405. Thank you. Red breast Kentucky oak sounds good. Powers, the spots, red breast Middleton, Method, and Madness, Jameson, all Irish distillers. I don't care much for Jameson, but the ones I've had of like the spots and red breast are good. Tenth Mountain Bourbon from Vail, Colorado. I have to check these out. Okay, so yellow's twelve, blue is nine, and cast strength green is six. So the yellow is twelve years old. We have a yellow, but y'all didn't pick that one. Hmm. What about the green? I mean, yeah. the Writer's Tears. I, I mean, it may yeah. be a gem. It just wasn't as good as like I'm just looking for fruit at this point. I'm I'm drinking Irish whiskey like a whippersnapper. Maybe this one's different. The double oaked, maybe next time we'll try that. Yeah. 
Proper 12 is fine. Like, it's not good. Neat in a Glen, it's great if you're going to mix it or if you just want something super easy to get you some alcohol, that's good to go. But you've got a lot of options for it's just easy to drink and it's got alcohol in it. You get some Mad Dog 2020 if you want that. 12-year <laughs> cask? I, I'd have to try that. I saw someone say they couldn't find Frey Ranch. Oh, well, Frey's up. You know what? I went to Columbus... And I went into the bottle shop. So if y'all are local, and I know there's not a ton of locals in here, but if you're local to Georgia, Frey Ranch, one of our favorite small distilleries, they actually sell it at the bottle shop. Do they? They had Frey Ranch. No, they didn't have the cash strength, but they had like normal Frey Ranch, and they had the rye in the bottle shop in Columbus. And I asked them, I was like, how did y'all get Frey Ranch? Because if you ask Frey Ranch, they're like, we only, like, we distribute to Nevada and a couple of states. And Georgia wasn't one of those states. They freaking had it on the shelf. So I asked him, I was like, how'd y'all get that? And dude's like, that's not my job. Like, I don't I don't know how we get things, know. right? We just, we have it. We that's them. all I can tell you, right? So go to, it's not. It's only in like three states, but. They said they have it in LaGrange, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they sell it on their website. On Frey Ranch's website, they sell it. And then I think some of the folks in Discord found some, I don't know if they ordered it from Frey Ranch or they found some retailer that'll ship it. But a lot of folks in the Discord just got some bottles shipped to them. And it is, like, it for a small distillery, it's, it's so fantastic. Yeah. It's just excellent. Oh, Frey Ranch, yes, it is worth ordering if they'll ship to Texas. Especially yeah. if you can get the barrel strength. But even the small batch is a really, really good bottle. They have it in free. Yeah, the bottle shop's fantastic. I have, a, I have a, they. I went into the bottle shop and they know me by name now, so I'm good there. Now giving me access to stuff nobody else can get. Haven't got there. I don't have that clout yet, but they at least know who I am. And they gave me just a little bit. They gave me like this much heck about putting whiskey in a humidifier. Well, yeah. Yeah. Anything to compare it to? Who Not really. So Frey Ranch like grows all. They're they're a farm. They're a ranch. Yes. They grow all their grains. So cool. So it is like farm to bottle like kind of stuff, farm, right? Yeah. Like it's it's pretty awesome, man. It's pretty awesome. I, I, I really want to do a barrel. I, that's that's the tops of my barrel. Second, that's second on my barrel pick list, behind a Weller Antique One Hundred Seven. <laughs> second. <laughs> Frey Ranch dropped it Ohio this week. Go pick it up, man. Let me know. Um, what's up, Kale from Washington? Hey, I need to I need the van. Then we need to go bourbon hunting with yeah. Dennis in Maryland. I've never been to Maryland. Have I? Oh, SLB yeah. got a barrel. Well, I saw the I saw the thing where they were doing a barrel pick with a bunch of folks. It's a really good bottle. I don't know if they'll be barrel strength or if they're picking like a like a normal proof release. But um, we did watch the video where they picked that barrel. Yeah. Discord uh, Streamlabs will drop the Discord. It's it, they just dropped it just like fifteen chats before you you message message there, Brenda Sign. Um, so check that link or somebody will drop it. Uncle Nate, there you go. Nate's got it. Mm -hmm. Stop at Bowman in, in Virginia. No, we got to get up there for sure. I, I want to do some like Carolinas. There's a lot of good places in the Carolinas. Like we want to, we've got a list going in the discord of places to do barrel picks of small distilleries that have good whiskey. And we want to do some barrel picks with them. So that'll be fun. Vandy man, everybody needs a van. Everybody needs and it. And I don't know if y'all are just continuing to talk about the van or if some folks are really way behind on the live stream. I don't know which one it is, <laughs> but try Space Eyed. So what's a Space Eyed? That's like a area in Yeah, yeah, but I don't know which like are any of these Space Eyes that we have? I don't I don't know. Like, I, don't I don't know. know. Red Spot 15 is around $140. This one all right, which one switch? So we we picked Writer's Tears, Copper Pot, and Bushmills as my least favorite. Jill had these reversed. She liked the Bushmills better than the Writer's Tears. Yeah. These were the ones we really liked. I really like this one the most just because those green apple notes are really, really hard to come by. I like the PX second and then this one. But this order is Jill's favorite. So she liked the 15-year-old Red Breast the most. Yes. Penderin Welsh Whiskey. Was that not? We did. I think I had that. Like, I think I have Penderin. I, I need to go check. I want to say that was one we had. We had a Welsh whiskey, didn't we? Um, babe, I don't know what all you have. There was one that wasn't. It has definitely gotten out of hand. 
I have no clue. Keep them entertained, Jill. Keep them entertained, Jill. I don't know what to entertain with. Let's see. I can answer some questions. Is there a current bottle count? I do not think so. I don't, I don't think he has counted them in a while. And he has added a ton of them. So I'm pretty sure he has no clue how many he has. He knows he has enough to build another bar, though. Oh, I don't have a, I'm out of space. They're back. That's why I had to go in the back. They're in the back. So this was put with the scotch. This is Penderin Welsh whiskey. Welsh. You want to try it or no? I can try a sip. Okay. What's your favorite bottle other than William LaRue Weller, Jill? Um, Coy Hill. Yeah, that's... For sure. And then I'm going to have to go with my Frey Ranch because I really love my Frey Ranch. I love my Willets, too, the purple top. They're really good. See, my top five whiskeys are like 30 whiskeys long at this point. <laughs> like, don't... That's like making me choose between my children, you know? I can't do that. Um, now I do like Frey Ranch, but that's not going to make my list. What? It's not like those. Oh, those some of those Willet Purple Tops are fantastic for sure. Old Fitz Thirteen, um, which I don't own a bottle of. I really, 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 really want one. Didn't you get Old Fitz? I have some Old Fitz, but not a Thirteen. Ah. Um, I can't get. Can you peel that right there? You got fingernails. Coy Hill, William Larue. Oh my goodness! Um, some of the George T. Stags are really, really good. This bottle um, is Rock Hill awesome. Farms is up there. Um, Weller Antique One Hundred and Seven, Weller Foolproof. What else have I got here? Honestly, one of the, some of those Four Roses single barrel barrel strengths are fantastic. Um, this is hard. And I got of course, nails. the Van Winkle stuff, the Pappy. I'm not a huge fan of Lot B, but like the Rip 10 and I... the 15 are really, really good. Uh, some of those old Forester, like the uh, old, or the Woodford, excuse me, the Woodford Reserve. Of course, Birthday Bourbon's really good, but um, the 117 series High Angel Share. If somebody got one of those laying around, God, what I would give for one of those. Uh, the Woodford Reserve Very Fine Rare Bourbon is freaking exceptional. Um... I'm just trying to think of ones that are like, I would I would give a, a handsome sum for another now, bottle kind of thing. what's the difference in this? This is Welsh whiskey, so they just, they make it in, in. a different country. <laughs> I don't freaking know. What what are Welsh people? Where are they from? I don't, I don't freaking know. I, what a, I, ain't I, don't a, think I ain't a freaking geography major. <laughs> they're not in Ireland. They're not in Scotland, apparently. I don't know. Are you sure? No, they may be. But why do they call it Welsh whiskey? I don't know. Anybody it's got know a beautiful why? bottle. Oh, the bottle is gorgeous. Wales, they are Wales. Oh, yeah. I, I, I knew that. Yeah. I've just drank a lot. Scotland and Ireland and Wales. Yeah. It smells pretty good. Now, is this Johnny Come Lately? Are they like, hey, Irish people are making popular whiskey. Scotch is it a people mix are making, between the Scotch both? people are making popular whiskey. Why don't we make some Welsh whiskey? Yeah, exactly. I was right. That's what I'm saying, Code Alamode. I was right. <laughs> What's up, Molster? Oh, God. Um, that's that's complicated. My relationship with that is extremely complicated. That's right, Mark. You passed. I was testing you. Try it. Like it's it, like that is like that is a ride. That's a roller coaster. There's like at first it's it, it goes from like can it goes from like Irish whiskey to scotch to candy to like it, there's like four different experiences. It's it's one of the more complicated things I've ever drank in my entire life, and not all of it good. Blue Tiger, thanks for hanging out, man. Love you too. By the way, we got our first fan mail. We need to talk about why we're doing this. I like that. Okay. There's some good things going on, but it's like you took a really good whiskey and you just poured some hairspray in it. No. Yeah. No. no. There's very much like a no. aqua velvet kind of, Nope. you know. I disagree. Kind of, yeah, disagree. just kind of hairspray. I disagree. 
and whiskey. There's some good things going on there, but there's some bad things going on too. Mm -mm. Look. I disagree. I got a letter. Not even a letter. I got a card. Okay? You special. I got a card. I'm Justin Bieber at this point. <laughs> That's what happens. I got a, an Easter card from a gentleman in Oregon. Oregon? Uh-huh. says Oregon. Yeah. Got an Easter card from somebody in Oregon saying how much they like the channel, and they wanted me to try rum in the humidifier. The whiskey was dangerous enough. I don't know if I'll try the rum. Like, thank you for the card, but I, you know, I, I feel like we, we were violating several laws by trying to put whiskey in a humidifier and then call it in a humidor because <laughs> I just misspoke, but... And then telling people that it heats up the, the, the water, that that aggravated a lot of folks. But um, I got fan mail, so I am very much Justin Bieber at this point. Okay. Yes. I have okay. fans. I have fans. From Stan. <laughs> he says from Stan. Uh, oh. Ooh. Nate had to take it to a dark place. So this is, I, out of all these we tried, this was your favorite? No. Where would it rank? This one's still my favorite. Where would this one rank in this list, though? Keep in mind it's Welsh, so you may start like world wars and stuff with this. I'm sorry, I you like may start this world one. wars at this point, Jill. The politics, it's over here. the politics that come from this, it's, it's definitely on you. over this here. This is on you, Jill. You take you take responsibility for this. I, it's definitely in this area. Okay. I really like that. And the bottle is number The bottle's top-notch. Yeah, the bottle bottle's top-notch. It's got wings and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. It's beautiful. It's pretty cool. I what mean, does it I say on the side? It's got it, stuff. It uh, says Welch, Welch Gold. Gold. A-U-R-C-Y-M-R-U. Those are not English words. <laughs> at least not in my English. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's got like a little crest on it. Like the horse. Is that Does that horse? make it better? To make it better, it's everything's cool. got a horse on That's it. Cool. It's really collectible. That is cool. What's the What's proof? the proof? Not sure. Looks like 92 proof? 92 proof. So you think it's on that side? Yeah. But below the 15. So right there? No, I didn't say right there. Okay. So where? Um, I would probably have to investigate it some more. And you don't want to do that? No, I'm not doing that okay. today. But just as the first little, and you know, I just like took a tiny sip, so uh, it it it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be here. Okay. Just for now, I would, I would agree with that. I would go back and just uh, just out of how many crazy things are going on. I'm not sure I'd put it on this side, but I'd put it on this end of this side, which makes it technically in the same spot. Like I don't know if I enjoyed it because there's just so much good and bad going on with it for me. I but I did like hairspray. it better than this. Yeah. I, was, I didn't get any oh, hairspray. Oh. And Nate Trout really wants me to try yellow spot for some reason or another. <laughs> So what is yellow spot? Y'all let me know the difference between yellow spot and green spot. Isn't it just like the age? Is that what yeah, it but is? I, well, I don't know what it is. Like, what's the difference? Don't know. Mm. And the color. The color? <laughs> yeah. So, Seth, thank you, Seth. Very um, specific. I like it. Try beer, like beer in the humidifier would probably work. That prop, that's actually probably a much better video than putting some other liquor in it for sure. One's a primary and one isn't, Jill. <laughs> okay. Which one's a primary, Jill? Oh, Yellow or green? Uh, I can't remember <laughs> green. No. Yellow. I can't remember. Uh, so, like, you can take yellow and blue and make green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Gotcha. I remember that now. Green, green is, is the, the lowest, lowest age. So, that's, like, the worst one out of the whole bunch. Really? All right, we'll try the yellow. I'll try the yellow here in just a little bit. Give me a few minutes here. It's red, yellow, blue, green. Huh. I don't know. Yellow is 12. Like you, It's not a primary color, though. 
Yellow is 12 years old. We had the yellow, right? I think we did, yeah. What is this? This is silky. Oh, here's the yellow spot right here. Yeah. Yellow. yellow spot right there. We'll try this in just a second. In your opinion, what makes OWA better than full proof? Okay, so for me, for me, the seven proof points down, I pick up a lot more like complexity, a lot more of the like red fruitness, um, and, and it's just more enjoyable, whereas the additional seven proof points just kind of burn away a lot of the flavors. Like the proof just kind of takes the flavors away a little bit. Now, the difference between them and enjoyability is subtle. Like I do like the foolproof. It is my second favorite by just a little bit, but the 107 proof is just so much more enjoyable to me than the 114 proof. Green Sprite versus clear Sprite, okay. Yellow Spot is Red Breast, age 12, in bourbon barrels, finished in Malaga and Sherry Cask. Whoa. Well, that sounds freaking delicious, doesn't it? So it's... Three cask maturation, bourbon, sherry, and... It's this? Malaga. I don't know what a Malaga is. It's made by the same people. So it's this. But it's finished in bourbon, sherry, and whatever the heck a Malaga is. Interesting. And I'm sure I'm saying Malaga wrong. Yep, I'm sure you are. Malaga. Haven't had Buchanan's. Yellow is better, older. We're going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. You she are, may I'm not. not. Yeah. I'm, I'm You're going to do peanut butter jelly shots with me, though. Yes, that's why we I'm not do doing that. anything else. <laughs> uh, green Spot but has I'm no age statement. Shot. Okay. I'm doing sips. Malaga. Malaga. <laughs> That's what I said, isn't it? What's up, Wooski? I said Malaga, didn't I? Yeah. Wasn't that what I said? I think so. You don't think so? I said I think so. You do think so? I do think so. Let's see if I can get one of these uh these Watas. Yeah, but without getting out of my chair. You can. You think I can? Yeah, you get it with your foot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that boy got talent. Oh. I got opposable thumbs on my feet. That's what you get for having them big old toes. Yeah. Them gamble feet. Yeah, I think beer in the humidifier actually sounds pretty good. That sounds like that would be a better video. Although, realistically, what makes a good video is me just pouring the whiskey everywhere, thinking I know how to fill a humidifier. That's the video that's getting views, not the whiskey in the humidifier. That is talent, Mark. I, I, like, not everybody can do that. <laughs> no, Vandy Man, I'm not going to drink that water. I have my own water. <laughs> I've been... I didn't touch the water, just, just right around here. Yeah. Yeah, no. Me la ga. Me. 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 Ga. Me la ga. It sounds like it sounds like you've got like a strong Boston accent and you're asking for a <laughs> lager beer. Could somebody hand me my lager? <laughs> my lager. Oh. Yeah. Oh goodness. Now do that with a bourbon bottle? Come on. No. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. I got an empty one. How about that? Thomas, no, you're going to break the bottle. Nah. Thomas. It's just a Weller bottle. We would do that. Oh, my goodness. Don't break that bottle, Thomas. Got my foot on it. Oh, I broke it. It didn't break. It bounced. It bounced. It's good. Oh We're my good. goodness. I didn't get enough lift on it. I, I, I <laughs> underestimated how heavy it was. <laughs> So I just, it just literally came up like this far off the floor. Didn't do it. We got a Thomas. That's how you know I'm <laughs> yeah, in trouble. Yeah, that's how you know he's in trouble when I say Thomas. It sounded like pieces broke, but then it just kept bouncing. So it didn't break. It didn't break. Got whistle oh, pig. Nice. Something broke on it. Hey, they're pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't a solid try. I did not put near enough lift on that bottle. Like I, I threw it like it was this. And an empty bottle of bourbon apparently weighs more than this. Or I didn't have a good enough grip because... I do have, like, some big toes, but apparently they're not as strong as I thought they were. <laughs> no, it's still good. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Let's see how it looks. Let's examine it. Look, still, still perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still... It sounded like it broke... Oh. A little chip. We chipped on the bottom. That's what it is. It's got some chip. It got a big chip right here on the bottom. So there's some pieces around you here. You better my, find that I'm so our kids don't step on it. Well, our kids should not be in the bar. Well, you had to go through the bar to get to the underneath of the house, so. So, yeah. We're going to have to do a little sweeping down here tomorrow. 
<sighs> you never had an ad for a live video? Did it add ads? I don't, sorry. I didn't add them. It does, it's asking me right now, it says like, now would be a good time to insert ads, but I never clicked it. No. If I clicked it, you would all get ads. And then I'd get paid, but I don't want pay, I don't want to be paid. I want you to hang out with me. <laughs> Tell them more do. I don't think we have that. Well, we're going to try, I'm going to try this yellow spot here in just a second. We're going to give it about 10, 15 more minutes. We're going to try the yellow spot and then we're going to do the peanut butter jelly shots. Love the hunting videos, Nate says. Thank you. Um, we did get offered, some company just reached out today to offer me a nice big humidor for the, for the bar. And I was like, I mean, I might, the, the problem is they want like a review or something. We're not going to do that. Um, I don't do a ton of cigars, Mitchell. I do smoke them occasionally. I'm really more like a cigar flavored candle. I don't really smoke them. Like, I don't think you're supposed to smoke them, but I do enjoy them occasionally, but only we're really with other people that have cigars. So we got offered a humidor. I may take it, but I was like, it'll show up in like a, you know, if we do, we're going to do like a review of, or we're going to do a video where we build the bar in there and I'll put a humidor in there to have cigars for folks that are into that. But love you too, Ben Blake. What you're like, she was like, this is news. Yeah, I mean, if they news. send this one. Well, ain't nobody yeah, Seth, cigars I hate money. I don't hate money. I just like, I, you know, I'm not money motivated. I just got a lot of dumb ideas that require it, like buying vans. You make how people smoke. Rick gets a van. Yeah, I think bus. turning on ads just like you get it at the start. So, what'd you say? I said, ain't nobody gonna have no cigars in there. Not in there, no. But like they can take them outside. We can store them in there. Mm. It's like a storage closet. That's David not Trask is our newest subscriber, Jill. Well, thank you. I have not had Sexton or or Dalmore fifteen. Appreciate it, Dylan. Chug the bottle like Ooh. Steve will do it. Oof. I, if I got those kind of views, I might consider it. But at the same time, probably not. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right, Kenna. I mean, I've already said I, I may put some beer in the humidifier. Appreciate the suggestion. Bed and blanket with the four ninety nine super chat. Don't know if I missed it, but have you ever reviewed Clyde Mays? Uh, Clyde Mays is pretty good. We got Clyde Mays behind us. I like it. So I'm actually, Clyde Mays has invited me to the Talladega 500. They are a sponsor of the NASCAR race this weekend in Alabama. They are going to have me in, and we are doing a Clyde Mays barrel pick in the freaking track. Like, I don't know where. I don't know if we'll be in the stands. I was like, I want to do it on the track, but I don't know if I got that kind of clout. Um, so we're going to do a Clyde Mays barrel pick from... Talladega. Uh, Virgil? Yes. Really? Yes. You didn't tell me that. Yes. You didn't hear it. I told you. I thought it was for somebody else. No, no, no. We're doing a Bruzel barrel pick at Talladega. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Now, I wanted to bring other folks, but I can't. Like, I don't have passes to yeah, get other folks yeah, in, yeah, right? Yeah. So, like, the we're going to be there with um, some of the folks from Spillway yeah. and then Clyde Mays. And we'll I'll try to just find. I may just pull random people in. I don't know. We'll make sure we have enough people. And then we'll do a barrel pick, and then we will have that available for sale at Bruzel.com. At some point, I don't know how long it'll take, take months. That's But cool. I do I like Clyde Mays. That. Like, Clyde Mays has some really good stuff, so. I thought when you said that, you were talking about you were doing a barrel pick for somebody else. No, no, no. We're doing it for but us. But I didn't know it was for us. Yeah, we're doing a Bruzel barrel pick. Well, look at there. At Talladega. That's cool. Yes, Darth Vader. At some point, now it might take, lots of times these barrel picks take one to four months before we get them and they're actually for sale. So um, the first round will go to patrons. So if you're a patron, at any level right now, you'll have access to it. Um, but, you know, sooner or later, if we continue to grow with the patrons, higher levels, we'll have first access and then we'll move down. But right now, patrons first, then we'll drop it in the Discord. And then the next, so one day patrons, next day Discord, next day the video drops and everybody will be able to buy it. That's the hope. Brenda Sign, War Eagle. So Pew War Eagle one, I don't know. Like I assume not. I assume like I don't I like Josh from Spillway is like organizing the whole thing, so I don't even really know what they're bringing. Oh cool. He asked if it was I want to go fast, huh? 
Yeah, yeah, he asked if it's cash strength. Like I don't I don't even know. I would rather it be, but I haven't haven't discussed these things with them. So makers old fashioned, like an old fashioned with makers or like a canned maker. Like makers is pretty good in an old fashioned, but I prefer ancient ancient age any day of the week. Uh, yeah, you missed the first barrel picks from the one we already did. Like that one, those were gone pretty fast. Uh, once the video went out, they went really quick. What's the best antique collection bottle? William LaRue Weller to me. Sazerac 18 this past year is really good. Um, Eagle Rare 17 is a little understated. George T. Stagg is really solid. Thomas Handy's like the one they just need to kick out of the BTAC collection. Like it's fine. It's a good bottle. Don't get me wrong. It's a good bottle, but it doesn't deserve to be with the other three. What's my holy grail of barrel picks in the future? Right now, my top two barrel picks that I want to do is Weller Antique 107, Frey Ranch, because I know, like, I could build some excitement because I'm excited about that one. Yeah. I really want to do a Woodford Double Oaked at some point. Um, and then after that, like, we're just trying, and for the most part, we're trying to support small distilleries. So that's the goal. We're talking about doing some barrel picks. We've got a list of probably 20 small distilleries we're trying to reach out to to do barrel picks with. Folks that have regional distribution. And then after that, we're talking about maybe sourcing some barrels and doing our own blends and releasing our own private label stuff. So we're we're having those conversations, but it takes time and money. Uh, Josh says it is cash straight. Josh is in here. Josh is oh. the guy that's making all this happen. You see Josh S, oh, who's see. a new channel membership. Y'all see there, that dude in the chat. Y'all oh. see him in the chat. He's cool. the guy making all this happen, and he is bringing the heat with the cask strength. My favorite old Fitz is the 13. Yeah, that's the bottle. That's the bottle. That's probably the bottle highest on my list. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need like a Pappy 20, 20. I need those just to have them as a spectacle. But outside of that, old Fitz 13 is like tops on my list right now. What's a barrel pick, Chris? That's a good question. So basically, usually it's where like a store goes in and say you have a bottle of bourbon you like, right? Say, like I've been loving this Ben Holiday right here out of uh, Missouri. So typically you're just going to buy Ben Holiday's bourbon. You're going to have it for sale in your store somewhere. Uh, but every once in a while a store will go in and buy an entire barrel. This is going to be a blend. They're going to take a bunch of barrels. They're going to blend them so they all taste the you know similar or the same. But you could do a barrel pick, and so all those barrels that they would normally blend, they'll give you four or five samples. You can then go and try all of those samples and pick one, and it could be a little unique or different. So they might pick some that are super oaky, super sweet, blend them together. If you like sweet, you could then just pick the sweet one and keep that and they will bottle the entire barrel and send it to your store and you can sell it as a barrel pick. So when we do Clyde Mays, we've got, where are my Clyde Mays at? I don't even know where I put them. Oh, right there. I don't know, anyway, there's Clyde Mays up there on the top shelf. Um, they're good, I, don't, I really like Clyde Mays, they've got good whiskey. But we can go choose some of their single barrels, right? Rather than being blended, we could pick one that really suits our fancy that we like more than say maybe their normal release and we're going to get the entire barrel bottled up we're going to send it to a retailer and we're going to drop it for sale online that's so cool yeah and we're planning a lot of those like we're going to do some stuff we may hook up with josh and do some stuff we got the mississippi sippers we've got him over at spillway like we we've got a i'm, I'm open to anything like i don't i just want to do fun stuff that's really what it boils down to right What's the oldest bourbon I've tried? Hmm. Pappy 23, probably. Any whiskey you won't touch. Not usually. <laughs> um, appreciate it there, um, JM Chivas. We're going to try. So what we may do, we've got a meetup. For those that don't know, we're planning a meetup for the 19th yes. with a VIP thing on the 18th. Let me, let me talk to you all that, about that a little bit. Um, we're thinking, now y'all let me know. I want feedback on whether or not this is good or bad, right? Because it's going to cost a lot of money to pull this off. What we're thinking is we're going to limit it to 300 people on the main event. 
And it's going to be a $100 ticket to get in to help cover the cost. And we will probably have some swag and some stuff that we throw in for that, right? We might we might have some special Glen Cairns for that. We might, you know, there, there might be a T-shirt for the event. Like, we'll, we'll have a little swag thrown in. And then we're going to have, like, a little VIP event Friday night at, and we're, we're looking at Red Clay Distillery in Opelika. They've got a nice space out back having some food trucks, having a few distilleries in, giving away, you know, samples and stuff, some small distilleries that we're working with. And then the night before on Friday night, having a thing at, at John Emerald where we have some, you know, we, we'll have some whiskey cocktails the day of, but like that day, he's going to crack open, he's going to have the still running, he's going to, we're going to try some of his new white dog of his bottle and bond, weeded bourbon he's doing with heirloom grains, we can taste that same whiskey at six months old, and we could possibly organize like buying into a barrel of that whiskey where he makes it fresh for us. Yeah. I'm also talking about maybe, I've got to talk to Crittenton's about this over in Mississippi, but we're going to try to do a barrel pick with them next month, and we may see if we can't source a barrel from them, maybe two, do a custom blend, and release those bottles at the event. So that's like the only place you can get them is at that at that get together so that's kind of what we're thinking right some food trucks music. hanging out music Games. we're gonna have red clay make um their mckenzie scotch ale we're gonna we're gonna bourbon barrel age it and some used castle and key barrels that we we've acquired or that john emerald has that we can acquire um and just have like a really good get together with kind of a a VIP and the VIP ticket may cost a little more, $150, $200 the night before. So y'all let me know, like, did those prices make sense for y'all? $100, $200 for the two nights? Um, and then I'm open to ideas to make it more fun, right? Bottle raffles at the party. Uh, we got to check the legality of that, Joe, but that's a good idea. Oh, we're also going to open the VIP event. We're going to open the... the um, Stitzel Weller oh, yeah. uh, Rebel 100 I've got yeah. from 1968. Growing so fast. Yeah, crazy, man. We just crossed 300,000 <laughs> subscribers, which is nuts. What so is it's it? at a bounce house? <laughs> a bouncy house would be fun. I don't know. I think it'd be fun. Um, silent auction. Uh, we may do that for like some charity or something. That's what Spirits I was of French to, Lick. I have not. We we had had some conversations this week with somebody that might make a charity giveaway happen. Okay, but I, have I haven't to talked see. to you about it. No, no. For your like, we we pick a charity, but they run it kind okay. of thing, right? So okay. we're, we're having some conversations about that, but we can do that online. We're doing all right, Parley. Jim with the four ninety nine super chat. Love your videos. Thanks for great bourbon hunting and all the helpful information. Looking forward to seeing a lot more. And a meetup at some point. August 19th. We're that's what planning. we're targeting. So we're trying to have everything wrapped up by the end of the month. So maybe the first or second week of next month. Probably second week after I get back from the Derby, we can start announcing stuff yeah. and having tickets ready for sale. Oh, yeah. And you didn't mention that there'll be some tickets for drinks that will be included in your... Oh, yeah, yeah. So so you like what we're thinking right now, and again... I don't know. You know, we're we're open to feedback, right? Like now's the time we want feedback. We got three hundred something people yep. in here, so we've never done this. So it's we've our, never it's, done it's it. Our we're first trying. One. To, we're trying to make it not suck. So Saturday we would have an event, hundred dollar ticket. Maybe you know we'd probably throw in some Bruzel Glen Cairn or some some you know some some swag. Merch. Maybe some stickers. We'll have a little bit of merch together, um, and then we're gonna have a food truck. You'd have to buy your food, but we'll have some food trucks there. It's going to include tickets for so many samples of bourbon. Uh, it's going to include tickets for so many beers. I don't know how many. Beer, we'll have to wine, figure that. Or seltzer. But we've got beer. We're talking about John Emerald releasing like them doing some bourbon cocktails with their their kind of uh, their bourbon, and then we've we've got a whole barrel of of freaking beer aid. So you, like you probably get several tickets for that. Um, and then we're, we're trying to figure out some events and some fun games and things we could play there, but we're just going to, you know, probably get there at like 11 o'clock and stay till four, you know, five hours of just hanging out and having a good time. The night before that on Friday, we're going to have a thing at John Emerald for just a hundred. So 300 Saturday, limit it to a hundred, a little higher price ticket. Um, but that ticket will get you into both events, right? And that VIP thing probably limited to a hundred. 
but we're going to see him make some whiskey. We're going to taste some whiskey at like, like he just pulls off the steel. We're going to try some stuff that are six months old. Um, and then we'll have, we'll probably have some food at that or some hors d'oeuvres and, and do something. And we may, if we have enough people that are interested, literally buy an entire barrel of whiskey that he's doing there. And then at both of those events, we're going to try to do our own private label. I've got a name for the label. We're, we're completely like, we got to get everything like registered and legal, but do our first like brusal private label whiskey that'll only be available there. Uh, so the closest airport, like Auburn has an airport, but it's private plane only. Atlanta's an hour and a half away. Columbus is 45 minutes away. Montgomery's 45 minutes away. So realistically, it's like, oh, it's 45 minutes away, but we're talking like a true 45 minutes. Like Vegas, the Vegas airport's 30 minutes from Vegas. <laughs> so it's like, it's in a different town, but it's only 45 minutes away. Uh, a room near the stage. That's the problem is downtown Opelika doesn't have any, like you're going to have to Uber out a little bit for a hotel. Like we got, we got, a, we got an eye on a place we want to buy for an Airbnb, but we're, we're a few years away yeah, from it. Yeah, we're not there yet. Bre hey, there's some RV parks not too far away. So Mary Jessica's in for it. JP and Mary Jessica's in for it. Ah, uh, Seth says, yeah, yeah, so that's what we're talking about doing some, that's, I like the idea there for a QA and a with some distillers. We're going to try to invite a lot of these distillers we're reaching out to, especially if they're in the southeast, to come down, hand out some samples. Like, we're not charging them anything. That's they don't have point. to pay to sponsor, right? They just show up, give away some samples, and, like, we're, we, we don't, we're not trying to make money on this. So, um, and what we're, we're hoping to do, what I hope to do, is we're going to limit it to 300 people this year. Next year, we're going to limit it to 600. And then the next year, we may try to open it up, make the tickets cheaper, get some sponsorships, see if we could turn it into like a local bourbon festival or something. Uh, so, Steph, that is the biggest concern we have right now that we're working on, right? And so, like, I went to a meetup with the bourbon junkies, and they had a bottle share. So they picked a hotel. They had a block. And they went to that hotel and had the conference rooms and they had a bottle share where folks could bring their own bottles and everybody just hung out and had a good time. Uh, and they had shuttles back and forth to the event. That's the biggest concern I have right now is figuring that out, right? And if we could sell that many tickets, I will start reaching out to shuttle services and trying to figure that out. I haven't tried Horse Soldier yet, but it's on my list to find for sure. Uh, normally we stream from like eight until 10 on Mondays there, Jacob. Yeah, Nick, we had a good time up in, uh, we were in Branson area. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. I'm sure we'll be back up at some point. Uh, so, uh, Brenda sign, I probably mid next month. That's probably when tickets will go on sale. Mary Jessica says, let, let her know if you need help planning there, Jill. Absolutely. She does. I'm sure. Blanton single barrel, 750 milliliters. I buy it if I see it for less than $100. It's, it won't be Brusel logo whiskey, although we might put a Brusel sticker. So it's pro it'll probably be Maggie's batch at this point because uh, we're, we're, this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to take the Lincoln up to John Emerald. We're going to test it to see if you can put a full barrel of whiskey in the trunk of the Lincoln Continental. If it can hold it. Like, I'm pretty sure it's got space, but can it hold the weight? Don't know. If it can, then if we source a barrel. Oh, my goodness. $50 Daniel. Super Chat from Daniel. Thank you, Thank man. You I appreciate so it. Much. Jacob with the $5 Super Chat. So we're going to try to we're gonna try to take the Lincoln and pick up the barrels and drive them back to Opelika. Uh, so we might, it might have something to do with the Lincoln, but we've got like a brand we're probably going to put on it that won't be necessarily Brusel, but it'll have a little more wide appeal to it. We're so glad that you love this channel, Daniel. That makes... We do need to do yeah. whiskey hunting in Australia. Oh, yes. Brenda's on 40th anniversary Absolutely. is next oh, month. Oh, man, that's happy awesome. Happy anniversary. We do need to try Detroit City Distillery. I haven't had it. Our anniversary, our 25th, will be in August, actually. Mary Jessica says we could do a car show to coincide with it. That'd be pretty ah. fun. Yeah, we definitely got a, the new leader right yes. there. Jump right you, into Daniel. the top, and we are way past the peanut butter and jelly shots. We're going to do that. Tater, enjoying a pour in my newly ordered Brusel Glen. Ah. That is our best. 
our two best sellers, our three best sellers on the channel is one of them's one of the Glen Cairn designs. The second one is the Bourbon Hunter shirts. Mm -hmm. The third one is another Glen Cairn design. We are we are rocking it with the Glen Cairn. Um, a sticker with Maggie carrying a barrel would look great on. Oh, our we're gonna we're gonna do yeah. it. We're gonna do it. Cry about it. Two dollar super chat. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Awesome videos. Keep it up. Yeah, so you'll like patrons will have the first opportunity to buy tickets, and then we will probably. I don't know if we'll drop it in the Discord, if we'll just drop a video about it at the same. It'll probably be like patrons, and then a video will go out, but then folks in the Discord will see the video earliest. So, yeah. Bruzel's, like, Bruzel's an iffy name. It's a great name for a beer. I don't know. Like, we might do. So, what I want to do is talk to John and, or um, Red Clay. Do their barrel aged McKenzie's, and if it's really, really good, and this will be the first time we try it, is at this event. If it's really, really good, I may just have them do like 10 barrels of it and we'll sell it as Bruzel beer. 10. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, taking the, the parlay. I've got name ideas. If you're talking about like for the whiskey, I can't share them yet. I'm still trying to find the owner of the domain name I want. I got a backup domain though. NVSS, bring the 70 Chevelle. There you go. Be perfect. The Horse Hunter shirt is our, it's our second best selling shirt for sure. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord there, that you're right. The Discord's good stuff. Well, thank you, Jacob. I appreciate it. <laughs> most of what he says, I don't understand. Hey, most of what I'm saying, I don't understand, which is what's great about it. <laughs> Distilled beers as Bruzel. Like, we could do the, like, we could see if we can get them. We could drop Bruzel, a collaboration with this distillery name I'm thinking about creating. Like, at this point, so let, let's talk about where we could go with this. Like, you want to talk about where we could go with this? Should I share about? <laughs> I don't know so, how much you should share, but. Like, you guys got to understand, I live in the future most of the time. Like, I spend a lot of time. The, this week, I keep waking up at, like, 2.30 or 4.30 and I can't go back to sleep. So I spend like six hours just laying in bed thinking about this crap, right? All his crazy ideas. Oh, that's why I'm buying a van because it's just like I need, like, I've been thinking about a van for like four days. Um, what does bruisal mean? Nothing. It's just cute. And it, it was a beer thing that was cute. Um, so here's the thing is I've got a name for a distillery. And I would like to eventually build a distillery. Like an event venue, distillery. We've got our eye on a hotel here, a really old hotel we would like to buy and renovate. It's got a cool old diner out front. We would turn it into like a really high-end luxury Airbnb. We could do like a brusel, like bar, whiskey lounge kind of thing out front. Like we got a lot of ideas. Um, there's a lot of steps to get to that though. Like we are years away from those kind of steps. Step one for us is just being able to sell barrel picks regularly. Like that's that's the the Bruzel name was pretty good. I like it. It. I would never have picked it if I'd known we would have just been talking about whiskey, but it works. Like it's cute. It. It just. It's memorable. And now I am Bruzel forever, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> um, but like step one. Oh, well, step one, I guess, is technically is getting more views, and we've been doing that with the bourbon hunting. The bourbon hunting stuff is taking off. It's great. We are taking the bourbon hunting stuff to the next level to try to make it more widely appealing to get more people interested. And part of that is like going to Talladega or going to the Kentucky Derby or, you know, we, we're going to, we're, we're talking about maybe going to Scotland and doing bourbon hunting in Scotland, right? That kind of stuff. Uh, so we're going to tr try to continue to push those videos to the next level to get more views because that generates, you know, more people in the community, but also more revenue. We've got to get to where we're selling more barrel picks. So we're reaching out, but I, I don't want to, like anybody can sell a barrel pick of Buffalo Trace. Anybody sell a barrel pick of Eagle Rare? Mm -hmm. I, I want those, cool, but I, I would much rather have a Frey Ranch or a Ben Holiday or a Crittenden store pick that are like regional and most people can't get, then we could drop it online and folks in California could get something that they wouldn't be able to yeah, yeah. access, right? So we could shine a light on all these small distilleries that are making good whiskey and struggling and selling like 100 barrels a year, and we could, we could actually make a difference for those folks. So I want to do those, and I want to get to where we're dropping at least one a month, maybe two a month. But then also, what we're talking about doing is twofold. Starting to source some barrels where we buy barrels of whiskey already made, 
and we start doing maybe quarterly blends. So once a quarter, we'll buy a certain number of barrels, we'll do a blend, and then we will release that under our own label. And, and I've already talked to John Emerald. Jimmy and John Emerald was like, cool, just let me know. Right, we can source the barrels in, he'll blend them, he'll bottle them. Like we could blend them how we want, we tell him how we want them, he'll do all the work, right? He'll make it all legal and we could drop it under our own label. Legal's good. I like legal. Um, but then we go from like blending our own and releasing it quarterly to we then start contract distilling our own whiskey. So I've already got, I'm getting some quotes on like, we pick the mash bill we want, they make it, they, we could pay them to age it or we can take it and put it in our own building. So we'll, I, I am looking, I've got my eye on a couple of buildings. I don't have the money yet to buy them, but I'm hoping next year I could scratch together enough of a down payment to buy a building to start aging our own whiskey. And then once we're contract distilling, maybe in a couple of years, a few years, if we continue to grow like we're growing, we could then build our own distillery here and start having our own whiskey made or start making our own whiskey. So that's kind of, you know. That's future. That's a, future there's a future, lot future, of future. speculation in how fast we might be able to do that. <laughs> I've not tried Holy Ghost, but I'd love to. Yeah, so we, I think we could ship those barrel picks to California, no problem. We just got to get regular. We've only done one so far to figure out how to do it. Now we know how to do it. We've got it all down. We've just got it. The problem is, is we want to pick more regional stuff and they have a hard time distributing to where we need it to go to be able to ship it. So we got to figure all that out. So we, there's still some complications, but like we're, we're talking to 13th colonies in Georgia, which has some fantastic stuff. We're talking to Clyde Mays. We're supposed to do that barrel pick this weekend. Um, we've talked to Frey Ranch, but they're like next year sometime reach out to us. Um, I don't know. I don't real. I don't feel real strong about about that one yet. Like we don't have anything solid. They were just kind of cool. We're done for this year. Um, so we we've got a lot of what ifs. But that makes me really sad. What is it? That they're the friends. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to be able to do that one. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna continue to push. But we've got you know we've got a lot of small distilleries like Ben Holiday right here and Crittenden's and all that stuff that we're gonna try to do stuff with. And by the end of the year, I'm hoping to where we're at a rhythm to where at least one barrel a month is coming out for y'all to be able to access. And I'm hoping almost all of them are something that most of you've never seen or heard of. You can own and use your own steel. I don't know what it's like here, but I did have a steel here for a while and I made a bunch of stuff. It wasn't, none of it was good, but Matthew, new subscriber, where one can send an interest. If you have an interesting bottle, there's a P.O. box. should be in the bio here on YouTube. It just has to be a full, unopened bottle. That's all I ask. There's a lot of crazy people out there. And if you send me something that's been opened or if it's a small sample, I'm just going to assume you peed in it and I'm not going to drink it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you live within 45 minutes, we could orchestrate something for sure. So, like, I have a few sent here. So, like, with the last barrel we did, I had, like, 18 of them sent here. I might actually have a few of those left. We might. I don't, I'm storing those because I think someday those are going to be special to me because they're the first one. Yep. So, I think I got, like, nine of them in the back and one open. David, it's all right, man. You can catch it back up from the start or we'll stream again next Monday. Yeah, yeah, Matthew, I understand for, for me to try, but it's just got to be, like, it's just got to be a full bottle, man. That, that's all I ask. I can send you, I like the Red Breast PX. Why would I send it to you? But you can come over and drink it anytime you want to. I like the 12 better. Uh, I, well, I found, oh, I found the Ben Holiday in Missouri. I would assume as close as they are that they, they're distributed in Mississippi, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, seal the bottles. I'm sure if you're really, really good at it, you could just seal them back up and I wouldn't know. Columbus, if you want to let one of the nine go. I, I mean, you, I can be <laughs> persuaded, but, you know, just, just hit me up. I'm going to probably keep three or four of them for sure. Yellow spot time. I agree. It is yet. What time is it? I don't know. It's 9.50. Did we get a 9.50 something? It's 9.57. Let's get... do yellow spot, then let's do peanut butter jelly shots. Hand me a Glenn, fresh Glenn. Oh, and someone said, uh, where was it at? I missed it. 
Oh, would you do P.O. Box video on bourbon people sent you? That's kind of cool idea. I mean, probably. We need to, I'm starting to talk to the team about just doing shorts. The problem is, is long forms, like, they just take so much effort. Um, it's hard to get through the amount of whiskey we get sent or we find. And so I'm thinking about, we're thinking about the format right now for shorts. And so we could drop like 10 shorts in a day if we really wanted to. Like, it wouldn't really matter. So we're thinking about a short version where we review something and give it a bruisal score in like a in like a 45 to 60 second video. And at that point, we we're going to drop a lot of those when we do it. So yes, but we've got to we've got to think through how to do that. It's in the works though. Oh, that's good. Is it? Uh, oh, that's good. I'll try it next time. It's got a nice butterscotch note to it. You sure? Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to do that little... and the peanut butter so no. Okay. That's it's better than any of these. Oh, that might be the best one we had tonight, to be oh, honest with look you. look at you. Okay. That not that might be. Restraint. I have it. I mean, it could be just because my taste buds are not picking up all the subtlety and nuance. I but can smell it. Though. Honestly, if you handed me that, I'm not sure I would pick it as an Irish whiskey. But that's, that's good. Can you wear the goggles? Yes, I will wear the goggles for the peanut butter and jelly shots. The goggles. Oh, you're, you're... Do me a favor, Jill. While I go get the goggles, move all these bottles out of the way, toss all those Glen Cairns oh, in the sink. Oh, my goodness. And keep people entertained. Oh, y'all want me to entertain you while I clean up his mess? Sure. I, I, you can be entertained by me cleaning up, moving all these bottles out of the way. Are y'all entertained by Jill cleaning up the bar? My goodness, husband. All right. I've had lots of practice of cleaning up after Thomas. Lots of practice. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait. Uh-uh. Hold on. What are you doing? Just wait. Well, I don't have the whole thing, but just wait. Gotta wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the music because they don't they don't like the music. I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna do this like I was shooting a video. So I turned the turn the music off. Yeah, you got a lab coat too? Yeah. You think I'm gonna let you have all the fun? No 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 no. I don't have a hard I'm gonna move this off to the side. It's okay. It's okay. I don't have a hard hat, but I do have a lab coat now. All right, drop those over there. See? Look at you. It's pretty good. Where'd you get that? At the Goodwill. Is it a lab coat? I don't know, but it looks like one. Toss off, get rid of the chair. Slide the chair over. I'm going to shoot this like it was a video. Oh, my goodness. We're going to do an actual video. Oh, the Glen, like, dude, you don't even, if you think this is Glen Cairn carnage, you have not seen me go through Glen Cairns. I just had to wash, like, 50 of them from, like, Wednesday. I had somebody over. All right, so here is this. This is not fresh. Give me a fresh Glen Cairn, and then we need to get the peanut butter and the jelly. That's what we need to do, and then we're gonna shoot this. Y'all get to see. So I did some lives. At some point, we'll probably do these again, maybe just for patrons. So after this live stream, by the way, for patrons only or for supporters, if you're a channel member, um, if you're a channel member and you're not in the Discord, jump in the Discord. Let me know. We'll add you to the supporter chat. I'm going to jump over there into an audio-only chat so we can communicate back and forth. I don't know why she gave me two of these. I assume we could just drink from both of them. Um, let's see. What do we got? Uh, that's peanut butter whiskey right there. Where's the jelly? Oh, here it is. Where'd you go, Jill? I thought I had my, like, safety glasses, but they're not back there. I have a bunch of safety glasses. I have some. You got just... some on. You got those on. These are not okay. safety Okay. These are necessary. This is how we do these videos right here, folks. This is how we do these right here. I don't have the bottom camera on, so I don't I don't have the bottom camera rolling. So we're just gonna do it at the top camera. Peanut butter jelly shots! Let's do them. No? Too much? They didn't hit. They were supposed to hit. They were supposed to hit. Peanut Damn it. Peanut 
Why are they, why is it scrolling sideways? <laughs> Peanut butter jelly shots. Let's do them. All right, so I was at the liquor store the other day, and they said this Sticky Pete peanut butter whiskey and this RM Rose Blackberry was the absolute best stuff on the market. So you put like half and half peanut butter and jelly. blackberry jelly, 50-50. We'll leave the mixing for professionals. We do a little stirry stir. Oh, Ooh, I smell the peanut butter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it smells like peanut butter vomit. But it actually tastes all right. <laughs> it's it's all peanut butter up front and jelly on the end. I could see how a fella might, might attain a lot, of pre, a lot of pleasure from that. So what, what do you think, Jill? Let me know. How bad is it? Whoo. <laughs> Man. It does not smell good. It smells like peanut butter vomit, doesn't it? It, 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 yes. Yes, it's you had like, too many peanut butter yeah. sandwiches. That's what that smells like. That, that's not pleasant. Yep, you all. had a good peanut butter and blackberry jam sandwich and you threw it up. But honestly, who's going to pick blackberry jam for their peanut You're butter You're in the South, Jill. Yeah, but I don't, I would never. What would you go with? Grape. Well, we didn't have grape. Strawberry. Grape wasn't an option. Blackberry's pretty good. Oh, goodness. No? Okay. Yes. I mean, Out of 10, what you think? Um. Oh, On the nose, it's a, like a one. Yeah, it does not smell good. Flavor-wise? It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. There's a lot better things you could do. Yeah. Drink. I think if you had some grape or some strawberry, then it would it would be better. I'm going to find some grape. We'll do this again. Next time, stay tuned. All right, there you go. That's how we. That is how we film videos, and it'll be a lot faster pace in Austin. I gotta we, get my um, outfit right, though. You gotta get. You gotta get your fit right. It looks. I looks got, a little. It looks a here. little like I just You're have a, a jacket like, look at me. on. So first of all, I like, know. Look how cool you. I look. look very professional and put together. Yeah. And organized. And you, on the other hand, look like you just showed up and you don't know what's going on. Look like you just put on I a white like shirt. I look like an amateur. I know. You're very, it's very amateur hour up in this place. Is this better? It actually is. <laughs> it does not fit You need my to have head. visibility. It doesn't fit my head either, oh, Jill. Have, That's the funny I have thing. It did so I bought a hard hat. It doesn't fit my head. So I had to take like the webbing out and it just sits on my head and like rolls around like yeah, you got the high vids. I, I, I wore high I wore vids. that in a couple of uh, in a couple of videos. So I have the high vids. Yeah. There you go. So that's all that the safety gear. That has a little here. bit of color to too. <laughs> which <laughs> the funny thing is like, those videos crack me up. And so the problem is... This hat is really big. But, like, here's the thing, Jill. Look at me. Look, it's... Oh, it's like, big it's supposed too. to have a... It has a net that goes in there that uh, sits on your head. But it was too small for my head. So I had to take that off. Take the net off. So it's like, if this... If I were in a construction site and something hit me, I would die. Because I have zero protection with this you hard are, hat. You are not... Right? You are not... But the, um, like, I, I feel like... I feel like... Like, either people don't get my sense of humor... Or they just don't understand when they come into one of those videos where I'm wearing that getup. Like the fact that I'm I'm making drinks and I'm wearing a lab coat and a hard hat and safety glasses yeah. and a high like why wear a high visibility vest? Why? Because you need to be seen. And so like it makes no sense whatsoever. But then people come into it. They come into it, and I call a humidifier a humidor. And I pour it, like, I just do something really dumb. And they're like, I can't believe how dumb this guy is. And I was like, did the getup, did the outfit not give it away? Like, how dumb do you have to be to not understand this is satire with the outfit that I'm wearing for this particular freaking video? Like, how yeah. dumb? So I, that's why I added the high visibility. I'm like, how dumb does the outfit have to be before the average person that jumps into this Realizes. realizes that I'm just like pulling their leg, right? Don't know. Apparently, it's got to be. Apparently, humor, apparently, I got to go harder than I am for them to realize I'm not being serious with it. I get your sense of humor. Oh God, that's awful. Oh, yeah, that's wow. not good. That'd that's gag, not good. That'll gag a maggot right there. That's not good. Oh, oh, blah, blah. 
Yeah. I still got like a 313 K. Is that what we're up to now? I think it was 314 when I looked about. So we were talking Friday, and Jill's like, "Man, I hope we hit 300 before the live stream on Monday." I I was like, "That would be awesome." Uh, No, I actually said it'd be neat to hit it while we're on the live stream. Yeah, and we had 300. Like, like we had it yesterday. Yesterday was the most subscribers we've added ever by double. Crazy. By double. We added 9,000 subs yesterday. Yeah, I looked this morning, and I think it was like 305 or something. And then by lunchtime or 1, it was like 312 or 13. I was like, oh, my goodness. Austin with the 499 Super Chat. Thanks for the laugh. Well, I appreciate you hanging out with us, Austin. Nick with the $2 Super Chat. Moving to Colorado. Have any local picks? Um, A lot of folks like the Stranahan stuff. Um Somebody was in the chat earlier mentioning a bunch of Colorado stuff I'd never had. You might check that, or if somebody knows what it was, try it with Screwball next time. I might. I don't think it was the peanut butter, man. <laughs> Although, I don't know. It smelled like peanut butter vomit, so it could have been the peanut butter. The thing is, I love peanut butter. But we get I, you, Thomas. Now we, they're calling me Thomas. No, you you ruined Thomas. it, Jill. You soiled it. Yeah, Thomas is just when Jill's mad at him. Gravy, what's up? How's it in Texas? Old Elk is out of Fort Collins. I didn't realize that. Old Elk's pretty good stuff, for huh. sure. All right, guys, we're about to call it a stream. I'm going, again, for those that are supporters, whether you're channel members or whether you're um, patrons, uh, you should have access to the supporter only channel. I'm going to jump over there for a little while and just have a two way audio chat with everybody. So we will be there here in just a second. I appreciate everybody hanging out. I will be live. We will be live next Monday. Um, there should be, yeah, we should be live next Monday. Um, so we should be live for the next few Mondays as far as I know. I, I've got a, the Kentucky Derby, I might, I'm not 100% sure I'll be back. I think I'll be back that Monday. So I, I don't know. We may not miss a Monday for a while. So that's great. So next Monday, 8 o'clock Central Time, we will be live again. I appreciate everybody hanging out. This was a Thank you fantastic guys. time. Let me know. Did y'all, like, did this help? Was this better? I'm trying to make this, like, this was just a baby step into doing something cool with this information. But for now, like you can see, here's the last chat. It shows up. It stays on the screen. Like, you get a little more access to it. You can see the total. We can run total goals if we want to. And I don't want this to stay on screen all the time, but every time there's activity there, I want it to show up. So, I, mm. But I had to make sure it worked. So I didn't want to make it too complicated. Y'all let me know if this was better, if this was worse, if you thought this sucked. Like I, We're open to feedback. We're just trying to learn and get better. Um, get the damn, the van dam, the damn van. John claude damn we're gonna van. We're going to go look at the van. We're going to look at the I'm, Don't Don't, don't, don't over be overconfident over there. We are going to look at the van, yes. We're going to go look at the van. But we've looked at other vans. And I guess where the they're at. On those, but those vans were super expensive. They this, were super this expensive. This van is a lot, lot cheaper. They, this steel van's not, it's not cheap. It's not like, oh my God, I just got that money. It's like, I could do a whole bunch of barrel picks with that money. Or at least a whole bunch of contract distilled barrels with that money. <laughs> yeah. But like a van would be really cool. And honestly, I don't want to sleep in my truck this weekend in Talladega. Look, you cannot let that be what motivates you to buy a van. A van. So what's the supporter-only channel? should be in Discord. There's a supporter-only. So if you're a patron or you're a channel member here, which you're not a channel, channel member here, you'd have a color on the stream. So if you were a, a patron member... There's a supporter only channel that you would be added to on Discord. Jason, thanks Thank for the you, dollar Jason. 50 super chat. <laughs> Last super chat of the stream. Yep. Let's just um, buy the van. We'll go look at the van. We'll keep you updated. Look at it. I'll let you know. We'll let you know. I'll probably drop it in the Talladega video. I mean, we can't keep it. buying every car that could possibly be cool. I don't know why we can't. Because we have nowhere to put them. I'll find places to put them. We get rid of other crap. <laughs> oh. I got two acres back there. We just need to do some dirt work. It's for the future. <laughs> it's for the future. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all hanging good out. Night, this everybody. was a fantastic stream. I had a good time. Um, I, and again, I'll see y'all over in Discord if you're in the supporter group here in just a bit. Let me grab that mouse so I can shut all this down. Y'all uh, have a good night. Y'all take it easy. Good rest of your week.